to the am stream and welcome to the Zypho show this friday evening and how are we all doing welcome everybody yes we had a rise this evening i thought i'd change it this for once <laughs> welcome well tonight ladies and gentlemen we are taking a trip back down memory lane a nostalgic trip for hopefully most of us actually even if you weren't into the amstrad at that point anymore it's still a good year and we can still talk about it. We're, we're going back to 1993. Yes, we're going back in time to 1993. Which, ladies and gentlemen, was the last ever year of the Amstrad CPC's commercial software releases. Yes. Uh, 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 after, after that, 1994, apart from radical software stuff, which was sold via mail order, I don't think you can really class that as commercially released. Did it get into shops? I don't know. I don't know. I doubt it. So, 1993, rest in peace to the gravestone there for the Amstrad. But don't worry, because because it's not doom and gloom tonight. Because as we know, the Amstrad rose from the uh, ashes like a glorious phoenix. Although it took a few years to get there. So actually, um, this is actually going to form quite a few series of streams, actually. I hit on this idea very, very late in the day this morning, and I'm bloody knackered now. But, um, so, I thought we'd start with the last ever year of the Amstrad, because 1992, I did look at 1992, and there's actually tons and tons of games I'd never get through in one stream. But I thought 1993 is interesting because there was only eight releases that year. So tonight, we will have Wrestling Superstars from Codemasters, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, one of the rarest games on the Amstrad CPC. We have Super Cauldron. We have Crazy Cars 3. And yes, I know we did Crazy Cars 3 not too long ago on the Amstream. But there is a new updated version got released uh, a couple of months back, actually. And that has a proper ending sequence. So we're going to see if we can get to the ending sequence via the use of cheats, just to get us there quicker. Because we spent uh, oh, a long time me playing uh, Crazy Cars 3 the other month. I think people got a bit fed up of it. But um, we'll see how quickly we can do it tonight. There's also Robin Hood Legend Quest, also from Codemasters. Budget game. Another budget game, but this time from Alternative. Bullies Sporting Darts. We have Nigel Mansell's World Championship from Gremlin. And last, but certainly not least, a Prehistoric 2. We have done a lot of Prehistoric 2 on the streams over time, so I thought I'd save that as a treat for the last game of the night anyway. So we can chill out at uh, God knows what time of the morning to that one. Hopefully not too late. Oh, I forgot to do the greetings thing. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll set that up now. Right, let's see. Game starting. As you can see there, we've got this new thing we introduced last week. So people joining in know when the first game starts. I'm going to set the timer at 15 minutes. There it goes. It's working. It's working. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get to the greetings very, very shortly. I think I've got a cobweb on my hat or head somewhere. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> so we will talk about your gaming histories in 1993 as well. Whether you had still had an Amstrad then, if you were still using it, were you still buying, looking, and looking for and buying games that year? Or had you moved on to another system? We'll get to that shortly because we're going to do the greetings. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to draw a line in the sand, so to speak, in the chat, 
So I know where I've got to with the greetings and where we uh, where I've stopped stop yabbering on. But as I'll say, this is going to form a series of streams. So we've got 1993 games. And then we can look at what happened during a period of 1994 to about 1998-ish. The next stream. Where we had loads of games from Radical Software like Fluff, Mega Blasters, Star Driver, Masters of Space and a couple of others. We also had Bollaware, a German a German uh, team making games like the awesome Frez Fighter and uh, Blacklands and other games. That could be the next stream. And then, because then this, this came about because I was working backwards. I was thinking earlier today that there are loads of homebrew games over the last hmm, 10 or so years plus that I've never featured before. And I've been through CPC Power and picked out every single game release and that's not like a basic type game or in 2K of memory or whatever. Uh, you know, full, full, fully completed game. And I found games from every year from 1999 onwards. So further parts in this kind of series, be looking at 1999, 2000, 2001, Homebrew. We'll do a few years at once and move forward like that because uh, uh, there was only one game in 1999. So between about 95 and 6 to 99, there was literally nothing <laughs> happening on the Amstrad. So, um, yeah. Because uh, 99 was probably the, around about the time where people started discovering, oh, there's emulators. Oh, we could play our old Amstrad gamers on this. And we're kind of missing them now. And people started making games again. So I find that, I find that interesting. Plus, and seeing how the progression of Homebrew has progressed since 1999 onwards so hopefully you guys will enjoy that we won't do it week after week uh next week we'll probably do hit squad games for neil on his birthday uh but we'll spread them out over various streams and stuff with different ones in between as always as i like to because i like to try and keep things fresh on the am stream inject new ideas and stuff like that keep you guessing what i'm gonna do and all that so there we go anyway let's get on with the greetings and i've got 12 minutes to do it in I set myself a target, so hopefully I'm not going to speed too quickly through them, but I should stop yabbering and get on with it. So first in the chat tonight was the lovely Brian Hooper. Good evening, Brian. How you doing, man? Oh, man, I missed you. Always nice to see you on the Amstream every week, though, my friend. But we are back with marbles on a Thursday, by the way. So it would be nice to see you there again. No, no pressure, though. <laughs> That's how you found me, though, originally. I think it was the marble stream. Anyway, welcome, Brian. Um, Chiefy89, Chiefy, how are you doing, my friend? Says, I can't believe I made it to the weekend. I do eventually have the whole week off. Excellent. That sounds awesome, Chiefy. What are you going to do with your week off? Also, before we get to that, we had a donation came in uh, at the start of the stream. Let's just replay that. <laughs> Johnny's tips. Johnny's tips. Tips, not tips. Of course. With a one pound donation. Of course, we all know about Johnny Boy's tips. There he is in the chat. Ahoy, Johnny Boy. Don't get banned from YouTube. Wow. That unfortunately is in reference to poor GP, who had his YouTube account shut down. So he's not with us in the chat tonight, unfortunately, unless he can get one sorted quickly. But can we have some bananas in the chat for GP? That is GP. So thank you, GP, for the one pound. He'll be watching tonight, so be careful what you say about him, because he's dirty lurking tonight. Thank you, GP. Um, next in, we've got Shadow80. Excuse me. I just rushed my breakfast down. Shadow, welcome to the stream. I hope you have a nice time here on the Amstream. And uh, let me know if you... Um, what's your Amstrad history, Shadow? And Manuel Schultz, good to see you, Manuel. Uh, good evening again. Are you um, around the campfire again in glorious Switzerland? And um, is Mrs. Schultz with you? If so, hello, Mrs. Schultz as well. Um, next in, I said, ahoy, Johnny boy there. Let me know if you're on the Tesco value body or the good stuff tonight. Moritz, the underdog. Do you know what? I'll show this again. Why not? I showed this off last week halfway through the stream. But Moritz, the underdog. If you remember, we played this game, Moritz the Striker, a few weeks ago. Sent me this wonderful tin. Look at this. There you go. There's a lot of green on it. Unfortunately, the green screen is playing havoc with it, the chroma key. Here. But if we open up this tin inside, we have a lovely little badge there of Moritz. But most importantly, check this out. 
Inside the tin, we have a GX4000 car of Moritz the Striker. Moritz, that is absolutely wonderful. I know I've, I've, I've given you lots of love and thanks in private already. And uh, I think you saw the stream, the bit of the stream last week. But thank you very, very, very much, that Moritz. That's a lovely, lovely thing for you to do there. Thank you, and I shall treasure that. And obviously honour Moritz's memory, of course, as well. Thank you, Moritz. Thank you. Right, next in the chat, we have a German 78 mushing into the stream. Just never knew there was a bullseye game. Oh, there's several. There's more than one, definitely. There's one I used to play with the light gun. This one is Bully Sporting Darts. I think the other one was just called Bullseye. And this is Bully Sporting Darts. So, uh, wait and see, German. Wait and see. Um, we also have a CPC Game Reviews. Nish. Hey, welcome, my friend. Welcome. Does it sound like it's going to be interesting to stream? Yes. So, we're going to try and do some progress in Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis tonight. Um, we're going to try and complete Crazy Cars 3 and see the new ending. Nigel Mansell, we won't play too much of again. We've seen it all before a few times recently. Super Cauldron, I'll probably give a good play of that one actually tonight. Um, and I'm going to start with Wrestling Superstars, a very, very rare Amstrad game. So yeah, interesting stuff tonight. Um, Neutrino Fire, hey, how you doing, buddy? Welcome, you are indeed early. Welcome, my friend. Kev Howell, hey, how you doing, man? Bloody hell, it's hot. It is. In my office at the moment, it is 28 degrees. <laughs> I've got my shorts on. I, I, I'm already a bit, yeah, moist. <laughs> well, I, you can't blame me. What lovely people are here tonight. Of course I'm going to get moist. <laughs> you know what I mean. Welcome, Kev. Welcome, mate. Darren T. Connor Painting. Dan or Darren, how you doing, man? Again, as always, how's the current painting coming on, my friend? And I uh, hope you're keeping well, dude. But then we've got Mrs. Zypho in the chat there. Uh, she's betting on a flop. You are incorrect, Mrs. Zypho. I rose from the ashes like a phoenix. Lots of love to Kate White in the chat, please, guys and girls. Uh, she's very, very supportive of me and the streams. Tom Davis, good to see you on the Am stream as well, my friend. Hoping for rain. Man, we've had rain all bloody summer. Do you know what? Well, that's kind of true, actually. Yes. <laughs> Stop moaning. <laughs> uh, get your fans on. Get your windows open. You'll be a reet. You're not in the Mediterranean, for God's sakes. Next, we've got D-Nuke. Good evening, Mr. D-Nuke. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. How you been keeping? And thank you for your continued support, as always. And same to you, Robin. Robin Hawk, the Retro Games Wiz, and fellow Ams fan. How you doing, Robin? Nice to see you too, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Um, God, my ears are already hot under these headphones as well. Um, scrolling through, we have Sir Nicotech. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I was just spending my YouTube app now. Oh, yes, you can now make clips of the stream. I don't know where they go to, what happens to them. But apparently it's, it's a bit like the clips thing on Twitch that YouTube are doing. It's about time they did something like that. I caught up with the tech that uh, Twitch have. But hey, Technic, welcome, welcome. Um, we also have a Retro on Link. says, hello from Whitchurch. Where is Whitchurch? What is Whitchurch? And why are you in Whitchurch? <laughs> Welcome, Retro Old Lynn. How you doing, matey? Are you off work tonight, then? Mike CT, Guten Abend, sir, from Glor to Glorious Germany. How are you, dude? Jason Retro, hello, and welcome back to the stream again, my friend. Again, I hope you have a nice time here tonight. Um, scrolling through. Mr. Zen Zero is here tonight. Welcome, my fellow CPCer. Hope all is good with you. We've got Tactical Pirate Dyers. Ahoy! How is your pillaging on the high seas, my friends? Welcome, welcome as you dock into the Amstream port tonight. Um, we have also... Da, 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 scrolling through. Oh, I'm not doing too bad with the greetings. We've got five minutes left. I might actually finish it in time. Uh, we have um, a Texi88. Texi, hey, how you doing, man? Do you have any knowledge on Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis? I know it was on the Specky as well. Tough game to work out. I have done a long play of it many moons ago, but I kind of bodged my way through some sections. I'd love to learn how to beat some uh, some bits of the game. We'll see. Um, Tall Paul! Hey, TP! Oh, I think I saw a message earlier that you were, might be dipping in and out the stream tonight. Why, are you at the pub or something, TP? But you're more than welcome to dip in and out whenever you want. Welcome, my friends. Welcome, welcome. We have FC Denhawk here. Good evening, FC! How you doing, man? How's things going for you? 
How have you got a new lady frames? I can't remember now. Uh, yeah. How's tricks, bud? How's tricks? Uh, we also have. Scrolling through T Dog, welcome T Dog. Oh, Arnold A. Lampel with the two euros through the super chat. <laughs> Bananas in the chat for Arnold, who asks, "Banana in my pocket, or am I happy to be here?" I don't know. Let's find out. Let's deluge him with uh, uh, bombard him. Rather, with ban bananas. A bananas bana bombardment. But I can't talk tonight. Lots of bananas in the chat there for Arnold. Arnold, nice to see you, my friends. We like Arnold because Arnold was the code name of the CPC 464 in development. So, extra cool Amstrad points for you, of course, Arnold. And how's your retro collecting going on, my friend? Uh, FC Daniel says, 1993, the year I wasn't a virgin anymore. I say, fella. Uh, have you got a fun story about that you want to share with the class? Uh, what, what was I? I was saying hello to T-Dog. Welcome T-Dog. Good to see you back here again, my friend. I hope you've been keeping well. Uh, we have a Manic Panic here as well. Good evening, Manic Panic. Oh, crap. My chat window just re-scrolled itself. Welcome, Manic Panic. Uh, I'll find where I am now. Good evening, sir. Man Shovel for the, um, for the AM squad. Welcome, Man Shovel. How you doing, sir? Nice to see you again, as always. Uh, Retro or bus, Rob DeLorean. How you doing, man? Did I moved on to the 16-bit by 1993 with my Mega Drive and Amiga 500? I think a lot of people are going to be saying that in the chat tonight, or moved on to the Mega, Dri yeah, Mega Drive or Amiga, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially if you're from the UK. Alex Ogle, good afternoon in glorious Canada. Currently have a mint tulip on a warm and moderate sunny patio to wind down from disastrous team meeting earlier. Yikes. Hope you're all well. I'm looking forward to another round stream. I am, my friend. And enjoy your mint tulip, Alex. Enjoy, my friend. I'm kind of jealous. That sounds really, really nice, what you're doing. <laughs> uh, but I still wouldn't rather be anywhere but here on the AM stream right now. So, Jimmy Taylor. Good evening, Jimmy. How you doing, man? Hello to Janie. She's there with you as well. Welcome, Jimmy. And none of your beers as well. Good evening, none of your beers. How are you doing, my friend? Um, good stuff, Brian. We'll see you back on the marvels. <laughs> uh, what have we got? One minute forty-four left. We'll get in there. We're getting there. I'm nearly through all the chat. Um, uh, great game, Morris and Strike. It was. It's a really, really fun game. And um. There he is, yeah. Mari says, hey, so far, I'm glad the present arrived. Have fun. I will. I haven't tested the cart yet, but I will hopefully this weekend, actually, Moritz. I might show it to Mini Zypho, see if he likes it. Hey, Magic Knight. Good evening, Mr. Magic Knight. Welcome. We also have a Kev Hal here. As, uh, oh, did I, I said hello to Kev Hal. It's Maud I meant to say hello to. So, Maud and Magic Knight. Hello, gentlemen. I hope you're doing well. Oh my god, one minute, four seconds, we're nearly done. Arnold again there in the chat. Welcome, Arnold. Welcome, welcome. And uh, Retro Malin, what was that about Witchurch? I might have missed your reply in the chat. Uh, I'm not taking the, my top off, Mrs. Zypho. That is not happening. And, uh, oh, wife's at a wedding too. I'm at a cottage nearby picking her up later, Zypho. Oh, so you're going to be leaving the stream in a bit. No worries, Retro Malin. You've got to do the hus husbandly duties. Um, but any news on the uh, Play Expo yet, dude, as well? Sorry, Play Blackpool. Nivrig, good evening. I'm down to my last 30 seconds. Welcome, Nivrig. How you doing, man? Nice to see you. And Rock211, good to see you as well, my old in real life friend. How you doing, dude? Welcome, welcome. Uh, Texty says I only played the point in... Uh, yeah, there was two versions of Indiana Jones and the um, uh, Fate of Atlantis. On the 16-bit machines. So I've got three seconds. Three, two, one. Boop, boop. Game, game time. I'll turn this off. I'll just reply to a few messages there. Yes, yeah, so on the Amiga ST and PC, I think there was two versions of Fate of Atlantis. One was the action game, which we're playing tonight on the Amstrad, and that's what came on the Specky and Commodore 64 as well. There was also the point-and-click version, just to confuse matters and make it hard to find a walkthrough guide as well. But there you go. But yeah, that's right, Texie. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Chris uh, Bourjoy. Uh, am I pronouncing that correctly? And uh, yeah, welcome to the stream. Hello, thank you for checking this place. It's my pleasure, Chris. 
Well, we do this every Friday and I've done it for like ooh, three years now, maybe four. I can't remember now. And of course, lots of Amstrad videos on my channel dating back well over a decade as well. But Chris, you're in the right place if you like Amstrad. Tell me your Amstrad history, Chris. And is this your first time in the chat tonight? Uh, I think I recognise the name though. I think I've seen the name before. Warzord as well. Good evening. Right, I better finish off quickly. I ran out of time for greetings, but... Some people do have to say later. We've got Angular Wolf. Wolfie, good to see you, Wolfie. I hope you've been keeping well, Wolfie. We missed you on Marbles last night. Mame Hayes in the chat there. You've moved on to the Specky. What? Good grief. In 1993. Blimey. Right. I'm going to catch up with people's stories in a second. Oh, I'm nearly at the bottom of the chat. So we can get on with the first game very, very, very shortly, uh, boys and girls. Um... Yeah, I need a countdown music. You're right, Johnny Boy, but I'll probably get a copyright claim and strike for that. Everything gets claimed now. Do you know the stream a few weeks ago where we had that tennis game and it plays that really crap rendition of the like the Wimbledon theme? Yeah, the da, 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 that one. I got a claim for that. <laughs> Believe me or not. And I'm still fighting it. I've disputed it. I've got two days left on the dispute before it times out and I win. So fingers crossed, eh, guys? Um uh, where was I? Sorry. Okay. No update. End of month build up stars. Okay, Retro Lem. No worries, mate. No worries. Uh, Zypher, we have a new, new we have a newbie that you missed. Uh, is that the, is that Chris Bajoy? If hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right, mate. Uh, is that the one you're talking about, um, Mrs. Zypho there? Oh, right, yeah, Chris says, uh, my new, my mate in the UK had one, he moved to Canada, that's so cool. So you've got to, oh, so your friend moved from the UK to Canada, where you are. Alex Ogle's in Canada, I've got two Canadians here. Uh, but he brought his Amstrad with him, so you got to experience the Amstrad when he brought it over. I'm, 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 am I getting that right there? Yes, it was the speed. Who's you are? <laughs> Mrs. Zypho just popped in there and said it's pronounced bourgeois. Bourgeois? Oh god, I'm getting, I'm getting it wrong already, probably. <laughs> Chris, welcome. I just call you Chris. Uh, Dave Rule, good to see you back on the AM stream, my friend. Welcome, welcome. And um, yeah, why not? Can everyone tag Chris uh, Bourgeois and give him a big AM stream welcome and a hello there? There you go. Anyway, it's good, better than others have said. But bonjour, bonjour. Is that right? Okay, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Right, first game tonight. Okay, only a, only a couple of minutes over from what I said. What should we do? To, what should we start with? I think we should start with a a quick little game. Quick little game, one that might be interesting to a lot of people that probably have never seen this. Um, this is wrestling superstars. Uh, from Codemasters, probably the rarest Codemasters game. On the Amstrad. And for those of you who don't know, Co-Masters, Chris, etc. Um, they were a budget label, and they pumped out games at two pound ninety nine. Went up to about three pound ninety nine eventually. Um, oh, there is something on my glasses. Hang on. And they were a big supporter of the Amstrad, and this was their last ever game. I believe it was. Or I. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? There we go. Right. Hey, Smoothie! How you doing, Smoothie? Moonwalking into the Amstrad as always. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> it's like arriving at the cinema and skipping the trailers. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've compacted down the greetings a little bit. Everyone still gets a greeting. I just don't waffle as much. And we have a countdown timer. If you rewind the stream, you can see it in action. Bourgeois. Bourgeois? Manchival says, bourgeois, Chris, bloody hell, who knows, I'm sorry Chris for mangling that, probably, infinite energy, we might have to come back and use that, weaker opponents, no, start on level one, so there's only four opponents here, there we go, not a bad loading screen, we've, we've seen better, oh we got some tunes, now this is going to be a joystick waggler, So I'm bringing out the arcade stick, which is already getting very, very knackered, unfortunately. Ah, 
Hush now, Johnny boy, on that ballot stuff again. Uh, Alex says, uh, my answer is still with my parents in Devon. I was only a few years going on a, a few years gonna visit and asked if I would take it. Not on the plane though, and the shipping is likely to be very expensive. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you can just ship the answer. There's nothing, just don't ship the monitor. It'll cost you about, I don't know, $50, maybe a bit more. I don't know, maybe mm, $50 plus. It's worth it, though, for some real Amstrad action. Hey, Darren Carl. Welcome, Darren. How you doing, man? Yeah, this is going to be a start of a whole stream, a series of these streams. So next part of this will be 1994 to 1998. With the uh, the rise of the homebrew scene a little bit, and then disappearance of it. For then, for then to return in 99-2000 by the, the discovery of emulators and stuff. And then we're going to be looking at all the homebrew games from 2000 onwards as well. Are people still trying to get the name right there? Bourgeois. <laughs> Maybe I had a go at that Joyce today. He did. He did give it a good waggle and um, probably has not helped matters. Anyway, let's get into this then. Darling Dude versus School Basher Bob. That looks a bit like OSG there, that does. <laughs> Where is OSG tonight? Right, press the fire button to begin. I don't know what the controls are, but we shall work it out as we go along. Kiki, kiki. Waggle! It's a very simplistic... Um, uh, wrestling game this Oh I can pin I can pin Oh I pinned him This is amazing The Darling Dude wins Hey Oh we've got We've got another round against him Right okay Right, how do we... Can we attack him on the floor? Oh, we can. I think we can. Oh, why am I facing the wrong way? Waggled when we pin. And that's another victory. Well done, the darling dude wins. Does that. <laughs> hey, Vocal, my fellow Al. How are you? How are you doing, my friend? Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Um, so nice that home, homebrew keep the great systems alive. Indeed, Chris, there's a massive homebrew scene on the Amstrad. If you have a look through my video history of the live streams, we see like we've already done live streams about five new games in the space of about two, two, uh, two and a half months, and there's lots more to come out this year. Some big, big uh, new games as well. Was that a slap fight? Asks Wolfie. <laughs> uh, OSG is probably down the pub celebrating his victory. Yes, I know the swine. He beat me in the World Tubers World Cup by a bloody whisker. The gits as well. <laughs> right. Have a sip in here. Good evening, sir, as well. Crikey, it's hot. My temperature gauge has just gone up to 29 in the office. Probably all this hot waggling action. I don't know if you can actually attack them on the floor when they're down. Now you have too much energy to do that. No energy, and it's a pin. So you've got to get the energy down to zero, knock them down, get the pin. There we go. This is amazing, says the uh, referee. Right, or umpire, whatever they call it. Is this game fake? It does look like they're having a slapping match. Uh, Uh, Wolfie, you're absolutely right. Oh. 
All you can do is kick, punch, and grapple. That, and pin, of course. It really is a very, very simple oh, uh, wrestling game. Got him! Oh, my arm's already knackered. The Darling Dude wins. Of course, Darling Dude, named after the Darling Brothers, who uh, started up and owned a Codemasters there, of course. Um, what did, uh, Mame Hayes, what did you mean by is this game fake? Uh, are you talking about, like, just wrestling being a bit fake generally or whatever or something? I don't know. Uh, Jesse says, Waggling the game tended to be an instant no-buy for me. I got fed up with having to replace my choice to every one week. Same. Um... Hey, I know it's just not opposite. It's nice to see. You. I know you got but got in uh, last week as well for a little bit as well. Uh, but you've you know we haven't seen you for a while before that. It's always nice to see you popping back in, mate. So it's all good, all good. Um, this game looks graphically better than that WWF game that came out in 1991. I actually quite like that WWF game. We played it recently, and everyone sort of gave it a bit of a thumbs down. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but. Uh, I did enjoy, I did quite enjoy playing it as a kid. I have to admit, I like the atmosphere the game had as well. Um, this actually, this actually, this actually has some nice presentation. I'm quite liking it in a weird way, even though it's incredibly basic. Um, and Simmy, good evening, Mr. Simmy. Way, how you doing, my friend? How's tricks, man? You got some banging rave tunes on in the background tonight, Simmy. Yeah, it was a joke about wrestling being. F oh, oh no! Oh fuck! I was really main haze. Oh. <laughs> main haze. I'll read. I'll read the rest of your comments in a bit. Oh god, he really knackered my energy there. We need to get some energy back, and he could just run around the ring avoiding them. Actually, he's taken my energy quite badly. Oh, no! I think this is where I'm going to get game over. <gasps> oh. I'm surprised how he got my energy down there. So, he's, he's one up on me. It's best to... Whatever I do... do do not let him win those. Yeah, we got him. Oh no, he's, he's running. He's trying to get his energy back. He got a load of energy back. The kid. And then he like runs away. Oh God. How do I pin him? I've forgotten how to pin for some reason. Gain energy and I don't. Oh, screw this game. So he could just like bugger off and run around the ring. He gets energy back and I don't. And that's game over. Oh, I think I'm gonna. I'll probably leave Wrestling Superstars there because I'm gonna absolutely wreck my joystick. <sighs> oh. I'm also, I'm, I'm sweating now as well from that. 
No, the Borg. Good evening, the Borg. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, games from 1993. We're starting a whole series going from here onwards. Up to present day, sort of thing. And there's only eight games tonight, but two of them. We're going to play a substantial round of probably. <laughs> Excuse me there, pardon me. Oh, what do we think to wrestling superstars then, guys? It's a bit limited and a bit simple. There's not many moves. You can do a kick and a punch, which don't seem to make much difference. I did at one point climb up, climb up on the turnbuckle, if you notice, right near the end of that uh, match and jump off. Uh, you can sort of run. You got a punch, kick, turnbuckle, grapple, pin. That's about it. Um, WDF for WrestleMania was a full price game, it did, but it did have a lot more moves and a bit more tactics about it. So the computer, how, the coding here is a bit cheap because how the computer wins is he buggers off and just runs around the ring like a coward, gaining energy back, whereas you don't get any energy back. That's a, that's a bit cheap, in my opinion. Scores out of 10 for, uh, let's have some scores out of 10 for wrestling superstars then in the chat. Um, uh, Chris says the 99 one that was at the arcade WrestleMania, I think, was my favourite. Yeah, well, what was your favourite wrestling games, guys, around that period as well? I didn't play any of us apart from there was a WWF game on the Game Boy when it, not long after Game Boy first came out, but I, I played a, a fair bit. That and WWF on the Amstrad, that was it for me in wrestling. And I think I had WWF European Rampage on the PC. I don't think it ever worked properly, so I never really got to play much of it. Anyway. Um, hey, Park Productions! Good evening, sir. Welcome. Look, I have this on tape. How rare a game is it? Bought it from either Boots or Littlewoods. Very, quite, very rare, actually, Park Productions. I'll have first dibs on it, even though I don't think it's much, uh, up to much, the game. If you ever want to get rid of it, that is. Yeah. Mr. Neil Simpson, how you doing, man? Nice chatting to you again, as always, mate. And, uh, yeah, I shall get back to you tomorrow on what we've been talking about. Welcome, my friend. How are you doing? Um, let's scroll back to the chat there. Um, maybe you need to fancy your butt off skill, says Wolfie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want to break my joystick anymore tonight. Uh, Nova Book has been out. Walking my son and Mrs. Bug. Lovely, lovely sunny evening. Cornel. Oh, I'm jealous. Time for burgers and Zypho. A winning combo. Nice man. Uh, le do le no, but please let the chat know if you're us if you are streaming tomorrow night, what you're doing and what time that starts. Um, Bryce is WWF Wrestling Festival, my all-time favourite wrestling game. Cool. What um, system was that on? Bit pants is a game, says especially for 1993. Yeah, may have been rushed out. It is well presented, nice music, good graphics, good for a budgie, but very limited. Uh, Retrogim gives it a 5, Robin a 6, Mord a 6, Nutria a fire, fire a 5, Edward Boucher! Good evening, sir! Welcome! How are you doing, my friend? KFAL gives it a 6, D Duke a 3, Zen Zero a 5, Johnny a 5, Jimmy a 6.5, Manuel a 3. Quite low down. Technic a 4. Um, where did I go? Oh, chat rescrolled. Uh, Brian a 6, Nova Bug a 5. Quite low scores. Dave gives it a graphics of nine, but uh, the game is six. And Simi gives it a four. And uh, Wolfie says seven out of ten, but what you play was the fun part. <laughs> I don't recommend you try this yourself, Wolfie. <laughs> Thank you, Novabug. Yeah, if you're enjoying the stream so far, guys, please give us a like and a thumbs up on the video. As always, it greatly, greatly helps. Because the YouTube algorithm see there's lots of interaction and will start pumping and promoting the stream to new people and that's how they discover us and new people come in and we make new friends and all that kind of stuff. So uh, thank you for anyone that's given us a thumbs up. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Missile! Good evening, Mr. Missile. How are you doing, mate? I, I enjoy your company too, my friend. Good to have you here tonight, dude. Welcome, welcome. Right, um, and manage a welcome back. Uh, you are streaming tomorrow, Novabug. It's going to be Savage. Oh! Not a very subtle hint there. You've got the Savage of the game to load up, right? <laughs> Let's see if you can get through the first level on that. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Henry! Henry Ma 
Mad Arts or Mad Off. Thank you, Henry. Oh my goodness, for the five euros there. It says, good evening everyone. For some reason my keyboard won't let me type a dot to do the magic 4.64. So I guess I'll have to stick with a simple five euro dono. Thank you, Henry. That's very, very, very kind of you. Let's see the bananas in the chat. For Henry, let the bananas rain down. Thank you, Henry. That's really kind of you. Oh, there's, hang on, there's something else there. Does that not come through? Oh, it's not come from Streamlabs yet. There we go. Just as I was about to grab my drink. <laughs> Manuel Schultz with the 664. Wow, you can have an extra dancing Lord Sugar there. Manuel, thank you very, very, very much. I've lost my mouse cursor. There it is. Thank you, Manuel. No message of the day, though. But, Manuel, all the best, my friend. Thank you. I can't remember if you answered me. Are you around the campfire tonight? With uh, Mrs. Schultz. Let the bananas rain down one last time. There we go. Thank you, guys. And thank you again. Henry. Lots of love to Henry. Bonsoir, Henry. And uh, Manuel as well. With hello, hello, hello. And thank you. Right. Oh, okay. We're going to move on from that then. Unanimous low to average scores on that one. I'd say the chat average was about 6 out of 10 for that one. I might scrape a 7 out of 10 personally, but I think I'll leave it there. Uh, I'm wondering whether Henry's first name might actually be pronounced Henri. Do you know what? You're probably right, Texy. Henry? I've been calling you Henry. That's the how we, us English say the name. But is it Henri? Is it, is it pronounced Henri, as like Texy uh, says there? If so, I will, from now on, remember to pronounce it like that. <laughs> um, right. What should we do next? Hmm... Shall we have some Indiana Jones, ladies and gentlemen? One of the rarest games on the Amstrad. So rare that even I think CPC Power website doesn't have like a box art scan of the UK version. Actually, let's just skip to that, actually. There it is, the CPC Power website. I have never seen this. I suspect this is a bit like Ocean with Space Gun. That it only got distributed in France. Because by 1993, the 8-bit market was all but dead. Uh, but at least France had a larger user base. Especially for Amstrad disk machines like the 6128. So, I reckon. I reckon this only got released in France. That's my theory. I've never seen a UK copy of this anywhere. But maybe someone else has. Has anyone seen a, or actually owns a copy of this game? And do we get a UK one? Did, did you get a UK one? Have you seen one? There you go. Now, with Indiana Jones and this uh, and the Fate of Atlantis, this is a bit of um. It took it took some working out when I did a long play of this many many years ago, and I think I'll do an updated one on this if I can work out certain things. So, um, have we got the instructions anywhere? I've got a few tabs open for this. Uh, have we got a manual for this? No. Uh, I know where we can find one. The Spectrum. I think the Spectrum version shares the same manual. This is a, this is a ZX Spectrum site. This is SpectrumComputing.co.uk. Um, oh, God. It's all... Ah, uh, yeah. In text like that. Okay. I found, I think, a Commodore 64 version of this. And it's quite complex. Um, uh, I don't know if I just share the link. Actually, the chat, the actual, the, the actual, sorry, the chat there is actually obscuring a fair bit of it there. Why is my browser capture got all screwed up again? Hang on. Um, oh, actually, are we on display capture? We're on display capture, that's why. There we go. All right, okay. 
Um, so on this, you got all sorts of things. You got a green compass shows the way to the exit. Red timer shows that the time is left to solve the level. Uh, the face of the character you're playing. You can switch between two characters in this game: Indiana Jones and a female companion called Sophia. Um, you got the. If you can see that there, that shows the energy level of the other character that's not in play. So if they're being attacked, you will see the sine wave go nuts, and you got to quickly switch to them. Think of it like the um, level in Aliens, the US version, you got to switch between the Marines or something like that. Um, you got inventory and energy bar, show, yeah, blah blah blah. Um, and you got all sorts of loads of controls here to memorize. And because the game didn't have, uh, this is the same on all versions. I think even the Amiga. Uh, I don't know if they're wimping out here, but when you have dialogue with characters in the game, you get given symbols. So, um, like if you get um, like two circles, if you can see that there, I know it might be a bit small on your screen if you're not on a, a computer or TV. Two circles represents your bets, please. Because we're going to be in a casino. Um, a, a circle and a cross means do not insult me with such small amounts. You know, so every time a character speaks to you, you need to refer to the instructions and this card of like symbols and what they represent. It's a bit mad. It's a bit mad and a bit cheap how they've done that. Several levels. What we're going to try and do, guys, is get through the first level and show you the start of the second level. Um, no. When we get into the casino, um, when we're in the casino, we have to basically what the instructions tells us is we need to win enough money at the casino to go and buy something from another character but the tables are rigged and you've got to you've got to work out the pattern on how they're rigged and i think i might know what it is so if, uh, if we can do that tonight and get through the first level that, that'll be enough for the game to give you an overview of kind of what the puzzles are and all that and yes it's an isometric game <sighs> you know how much i like them so we're going to try and do the first level. Sorry, I'll say that again because I might probably cut out there. We're going to try and do the first level tonight. And, uh, oh, I'm going to catch up the chat there very quickly as well. Um, we're going to try and do the first level. And I'll show you the start of like, the second level so you get a different, bit of flavour. And I think I might come back and redo my long play of this if I can work it out. Right, let's see what the chat was saying. Um... It got a UK release out. Hey, Mr. Bards. Welcome, dude. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? You have a copy. Uh, is that on the Amstrad or the Specky? Uh, on, uh, Henry says, uh, Henri is okay too. I love your accent. Would you, what would you prefer? Hon en Henry or Henri? You let me know what you prefer. Uh, this is an English 60 disc version of the game sold for over £200. On eBay not that long ago. Really? I missed out on that. Probably good I did because I can't spend that amount of money. Ooh. Mr. Bad's Game says I bought it a couple of years back. Do you want to tell us how much you paid for it and where? Um, how this game is better than Last Crusade? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll let the chat decide. Um, <laughs> Johnny Boy teasing the smoothie about the specy version. Um... Thank you, uh, Darren. Yeah, I, I caught up there. Thank you, Darren. Yeah, cheers, mate. Uh, you got my back there. Uh, okay. Uh, Chris says, uh, oh, Chris uh, Bajor. Hang on, oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Gunblade, lad. Hey, Gunblade, how you doing? Welcome back to the Amstream, my friend. With a mighty 464 through the super chat there. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Can we have bananas, as always, in the chat for Gunblade, lad? Gunblade joined us for the very, very first time last week on the AM stream. And he's come back again for a second week, which is a win. So we obviously did something right. Welcome back, uh, Gunblade, and thank you for the 464. It says, good evening, folks. Should be uh, around longer tonight. Nice. Awesome, man. Awesome. Uh, sorry, uh, Chris, you were saying there, I worked at EBG Games, GameStop US and Game UK from... 1990 to 2016, and I rather the system before the Xbox original went from fun and challenging to all about graphics. My buddy played, I left game. Right, so yeah, you kind of, you've been sort of um, 
you prefer the older systems and before the modern systems became all about the graphics and and whatever yeah i, I get you i get you uh, room cleaning stop oh that's that's actually a follow on twitch but th thank you if you're here in the chat hey mr matt lee good evening matt um i hope you're doing better my friend obviously i sort of heard what happened so um we're here if you ever want to take your mind off things and wallow in a bit of nostalgia you know away from stuff um but i'm my dm's always open my friend as well matt it's lovely to see you again dude and uh, i hope you enjoy your 10 minutes here we're about to uh fire up a very very rare game a very rare game um sorry so much chat to get through it's no wonder I miss a lot of chat, and I do apologise. Um, uh, <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Fate of Casinos. So basically, yes. Uh, right. Uh, As I thought would have a heart attack, replying to Arnold. What did Arnold say? What, what did I miss there? Oh, was he suggesting doing 464 without the... The, the, the dot there. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 that's fine. Um, I would love the special version, but I have it on Amstrad. Oh, blimey. Mr. Bads, if you ever fancy selling, you yeah, cool. Dibs. Dibs. But then again, I might not be able to afford it anyway. Does now the house break his knees when he's bankrupt? No, Nazi soldiers come and punch you in the face in this. Right. I should. Uh, right, okay, let's get the game started up. Sorry, I'm taking too long as always. Um, right, Indiana Jones, The Fate of Atlantis, get the original disc, right side. And uh, let me take our fast disc emulation, because we're going to see a bit of the plot and the story here. Vimster, good evening, Vimster, welcome. You was beaten, unfortunately, to the idiot donation, but thank you uh, again. Right, these guys really quickly. I'll start this again, actually. And I'll, I'll pause it for each picture. Because this, this, it's not expecting discs to load this quickly. Lucasfilm Games. Yes, this is from George Lucas's company. Oh! Hon Henri Palette donated one pound with Get Your Fur Out. That sounds suspiciously like a Mrs. Zypho. What's... If it is the silly old bat, get what's your you... fur out. No! I won't get my fur out. I'll just um, have a look at my phone and see who that was. I might be able to work it out if I've had a notification in PayPal. Yeah, it was that silly old git, Mrs. Zypho. Give, let's give Mrs. Zypho some bananas in the chat there. The daft old bat. <laughs> um... There you go, there's some dancing sugar. So there's some bananas in the chat there. Go on then. Go on. I should do it again. Uh, FC Dan says, let's all wait to GP. He is in YouTube jail. Justice for GP. Hello again, GP. Uh, thank you for the dono earlier as well. As well. Thank you, man. Right, I better get this started up. I can't go on too late tonight. Hen uh, Henri, uh, I, I would say Henry for now, unless you tell me you prefer the, uh, unless you tell me you prefer Henri. Why uh, Palette? Because I I used to pronounce like Palette, Palette, almost. So people used to take the mick out of me. Palette, apparently, sounds a bit boring. Palette is a French word. It should be Palette, right? Palette. Chris, thank you for following me on Twitch as well, man. You'll find me doing lots of different retro systems there as well. Thank you, my friend. That was a Twitch follow. So there's the loading screen very quickly. Indian Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. There we go. The action game. Actually, it's a good point here to pause the music. And I'll show you a bit of the story. Um, so if you can see in the back of the door there, it's reverse writing. It says, Madame Sophia. So someone is visiting Madame Sophia. Um, I don't think that's Indiana Jones. I think that's uh, one of the bad guys. And she knows stuff about uh, Atlantis. So Atlantis, of course, is the famous mythical city that sunk under the sea, right? I don't know much more about it. But she's in tune with some objects. So 
She's what she's got here is a Minotaur statue and this pearl, which I both believed to have come from Atlantis. And I think this man is after them. But she can she's slightly psychic and she can sense powers from this um pearl from Atlantis. And the Nazis want this pearl and more pills and to find Atlantis to get those extra pills to build evil weapons and stuff, okay? Um I don't know what's going on here. I think he's stolen the object and that might be Indy, I don't know. Oh no, that is Indiana Jones. And that's Indiana Jones taking the objects to her to like get them verified. I think this guy's broken in and stolen them whilst cracking Indy on the back of the head. Yeah, she's at gunpoint, Sophia, and she has to hand over the idol, whatever. And she tries to wake Indiana Jones up. Uh, Indiana Jones, uh, they go, oh, that's a Nazi war factory building weapons. I, I think, I think that's what that is. And the Nazis are planning to do something with that and find more stuff from Atlantis. And that guy looks very similar to, um, oh, what's his face from Raiders of the Last Ark? The one with the melting head. Yeah. Famous scene. Um... Can't remember. But he, he looks vaguely similar to the glasses and the, uh, yeah. Right, whatever. Um, people are making fun of my French accent there. Like, I'm like, apparently Del Boy. I'm like, Del Boy, am I? Monge, too. Um, and there's a jewel from the Minotaur statue. I don't know what that represents. Uh, oh, the Nazis are smashing the statue, so they just want the jewel from it. Apparently, it will create a super weapon. And Indy and Sophia get on a plane to Germany, I think, or Austria. And I think they arrived at the casino here. That's the story so far. Right, okay. Did you all enjoy that? Story time with Uncle Sifo. <laughs> oh, let's enjoy the music. I'll pump it up a little bit. An interesting take on the Indiana Jones theme. It was actually quite a nice tune, but I'd rather the full Indiana Jones theme. Yeah, good fun punching Nazis. Tot! Thank you, Texy. The guy with the melting face. From Raiders is Tot, yeah. Thank you. Full bearing was a CPC Amstrad 93 game. It might have been, uh, but it's not a commercial release. We're looking at the, uh, the last ever commercial release is Night FC Den Hog. But thank you, man. Thank you. Tazong there. Hey, how you doing, mate? Mystic Megan, Silwyn Froggit. I don't remember Silwyn Froggit, but I remember Mystic Smeg. <laughs> Maud, the dad joke. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maud has got a joke for us, ladies and gentlemen. Let's read out the joke. Maud says, question, what happened when the Atlantis Casino sank? The answer, the chips went down. Have a round of applause for that one, Maud. Round of applause. Yeah, well done, Maud. <laughs> Moving on. Um, I think you're fulfilled just enough saying the word Nazi if you can't support the team YouTube now, Zypher. I, yeah, you're right. I should stop saying the N-word. The N-A-Z-I word, not the other N-word. Well, don't say that anyway, either. No, 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 no. I hear you, man, shovel. Yeah. Not quite as good as the Blues Rivers theme was on the C2C. Yeah, that's all right. Gunblade, I did. Um, I never liked the rendition of the Blues Rivers themes on the Amstrad. I did my own versions of them, and I released them on a disc. You can download them, actually. Uh, actually, only Patreons can, but I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them on CPC Power. But if you DM me on Discord, I'll send you the disc file, and you can listen to my version of the Blues Brothers music. Yeah. Copyright Striper Zyphite, you reckon? For the, the small bit of the Indiana Jones theme there? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Right, let's crack on with this, then. 
And also, oh, hello, Telly Viewer. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Wasn't there a Bomberman inspired game recently in 94? Maybe it was available on mail order. Yes, that's right. Um, we often have the coder of that very game in the chat. I don't know if Odie's here tonight. But yes, that's Mega Blasters. And that will be looked at on the next stream in this sort of loosely themed series. Okay. Uh, but welcome to the stream. I think I've seen you before, but if it's your first time here, do let me know. And yes, it was only uh, by mail order, pretty much. Music's still going, actually. This is, this is quite a long tune. It's good, though. Right. Okay, let me just set something up very quickly. Uh, I've got some notes to follow. Um, and I need to get the uh, controls open. Right, okay, and we're ready with a map if it's necessary. I think I know where I'm going on this. Right, let's start it off. And I think I might use keyboard for this. Oh, and that's where the tune loops. There you go. Hey up, me duck. It's Big Joffa here. Well, hey up, Joffa. How you doing, matey? Welcome, my friends. Welcome. How's tricks, dude? Are you are you sort of back on your feet now and ready to rock as you normally do? I know you had, I know you had a bit of tough time with things recently. Yeah, Mega Blasters. Uh, Telly, I think I uh, might have seen you before, but is, is this your first time here in the chat? First time here, I only discovered the channel recently. Oh, that's where I think I saw the name. I might have seen the name on a comment, actually. Um, what I'm going to do, actually, guys, I'm going to put music on in the background because there's no music in game now. Uh, so I'm going to put the music on as quietly as I can so it doesn't interfere too much. But can everyone tag Telly Viewer? And give them a big and stream hello and make them very, very, feel very, very welcome here. Um, I remember reading a review in the very last Amsterdam Action, I bought a very thin edition of Amsterdam. Yes, it got even thinner later on, believe it or not, Telly Viewer. I have the very, very last issue. I bought it bitter end. Okay, so what we're doing here, we're in the casino. Uh, we've got money. We can see that's in our inventory bottom right. We've got to turn that money into chips to go betting on a table but we've got to find the right table and the right specific table where we can easily guess how it's rigged uh, the other tables I'm think are random whereas one has a set pattern I believe after a little testing run earlier it's on the second floor hidden away you go to that table put your chips down and I think we have to buy a bet on every odd one and uh, anyway we'll get to that in a minute Gonna win the money and then take that money and buy something off someone else in the casino which will allow you to get to level two i think there's one other object to find as well but we'll come to that first of all let's get our chips and let's get betting baby all right thank you everyone for giving uh telly a welcome there welcome welcome again telly and gun yeah thank you gunblade as well uh, gunblade's new as well joined in last week for the first time uh, it's always great to have new people. I like it. I like it. And Polter Rogal, good evening as well, my friend. So, easy to start with. You're right at the desk where you need to be to change chips in uh, money into chips. So we got given a red dot. A red dot. Hang on, let me just. I have to now check what the red dot means, ladies and gentlemen. All right, uh, I will just go to the browser quickly. And the red dot is actually the first one here. If you can read that, it says, thank you. Here are your chips. And I don't think it's fish and chips, though, unfortunately. <laughs> as, in, as in those kind of chips. So that means we have successfully completed the first part of the level. We have converted our money into chips and we can now go a gambling. Right, if you watch the inventory bottom right, it should change. Uh, I think it's now changed the chips, so we're good. Oh, oh, there's a Nazi soldier. And we're in the Monte Carlo Casino. Sorry, there you go. Oh, good smoothie. Thank you. You watched it start. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we, we, we debuted that idea um, last week. The next stage would be to have something in the middle of the screen 
for everyone to watch uh, while we're doing the greetings. But it, making that uh, is going to be a bit tough. Or what I use, I, I don't know. So I'm going to take ideas from the AM squad over the weekend potentially on that. So what we're trying to do now is find the stairs to get to the second floor. Uh, I'm getting a little bit lost. I think the stairs are way at the back here. So it's an isometric game. It calls itself the action game, but uh, I, I might have got lost actually. Uh, let me check. Where the far am I? I've gone way too far. Where will this take me? This will, I think, this will take me to the exit later on. So we found the exit, but we've gone the wrong way. Need to come back a bit. Uh. <laughs> Uh oh, the Nazi soldiers closing in on us. Get away from him! Don't waste time fighting them. Just, just, just avoid them here. Uh, stairs are somewhere around. Ah, here they are. Oh, by the way, you can rotate the view in this. So I don't think the Nazi can climb the stairs. Uh, let me just check the controls here. You can rotate the view, which is a cool feature. Let me just check this. Uh, rotate camera clockwise is E and W. Ah! You see? That's kind of cool. And there we go. We're back to where we are. Um... Las Vegas and Sunderland, two places on earth where you can buy love with chips. <laughs> Probably Blackpool as well. I'm, I'm looking forward to finding that in Blackpool. Um, I wonder what the average age is in the chat, says Brian. Hey, that's a good question. I'm 43 and I feel it's about, uh, I feel it's about the age of most of us here having the chat. Uh, that group of an Amsterdam. Yeah, I just I just turned forty, as you guys know, back in March. So I hit the, I hit the big four zero. But I'm told that I'm a mere whippersnapper, actually, compared to most. <laughs> Alex is forty six. Big Joff has hit the big five zero. Bloody hell! You got good reflexes for uh, nearly a pensioner, mate. <laughs> and those uh, shoot 'em ups. Oh crap, there's a bloody Nazi in the way. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go away! I, I, oh god, he's right where I need to be as well. Interesting, he just he's actually walked off in the direction away from me. But in the direction of where I need to be. Oh, I've just jumped in the air. Uh, that's not good. I think I should be okay. Oh, I think we've lost him. We've ditched him. Simmy's only 36. Blimey, you're a young pup. Mrs. Zypho will be turning the big 4-0... Um, in October. I just picked up the chocolate there and I believe ladies and gentlemen this is the roulette table we needed to be at. Right, so I'm just going to pause it there. A uh, quick catch up there. Maud is 40, Neil 42, mostly 12. <laughs> yeah, I still feel like I'm like 20 something inside. Um, hey Robert Berry, did I miss you in the chat earlier? I do apologise Rob. How you doing Rob? AKA Mr. Rob CMDR Sabotage, 53 there. Tazong's an old fart at 54. Um, Manchester was 38 and never heard of an Amstrad until a couple of years ago. There you go. Um, and now very, very much part of the Amstrad community. Funny old world, isn't it, Man Shovel? Um, as we say in the UK. Bimster is 50-ish. He's not gonna he's not gonna tell us any more details other than that. Hmm. Uh, Gangrel, how you doing, Gangrel? Gangrel, forty-one. 
But I keep on telling Zypher to get off my freaking lawn. <laughs> Proper old man shouting. Gunblade Lads 42. Avocet 40. Um, Maud 40 as well. Technic 44. Uh, wow. Um, there you go. Chris is 45 in October. Uh, Moritz 49. Uh, CBC Game Reviews Niche 41. Televiewer 38. We're all about roughly the same, aren't we? We're all that sort of mid mid 30s to 50s here, aren't we? Yeah. Um, we've got we've got one or two coughing dodges here, though. <laughs> I'm a brave man. Oh, the, the bad stuff she says about me in the chat, Technic. <laughs> Blimey. Um, Vimster's 49, nearly 50. Then, okie dokie. What about you, Zypho? I said earlier, Henry. Uh, I'm I I hit 40 at, uh, in March. Just gone. We had a 40th birthday live stream as well. Uh, 40. What, do you think I'm, I look older than 40 or younger than 40? And careful with that answer, Avocet. <laughs> hey, Batman77. Good evening, Batman. Welcome. How are you doing, my friend? Right. We're at the casino table here. Right. Um, so, I think we've got to get about $2,000 one here. And I think this table allows you to play at higher stakes than the other tables below, okay? Um, and what I've read up on is that there, and found out, I think the roulette table always produces even and uneven numbers in terms. Right. Uh, so, on the first one, we should stake nothing and see what it is. I think it should flip between the two. I think that's how it works. So what we're going to do here is take a snapshot and hope it works. This is how I beat the game before for my long play, basically. I just flew my way through on a table and got a load of winnings. I don't know how I did it, but I never cracked how you're supposed to... Uh, the, the manual tells you the, t the tables are rigged and you're supposed to work out how they're rigged. I never worked it out, so tonight that's what we're trying to do. Indiana Jones Fate, Atlantis, uh, level one, uh, roulette. Right, okay. Take a snappy here. So, how do we play this? Right, okay, forward. No bet. So, two dots. Two dots is your bets, please. Okay. Um, right, so make sure we state nothing. Okay. And the first number there is 36. So it's an even number. Uh, I don't know what the outcome was there. Oh no! No, stop jumping! Right, how do I attack? Uh, a Nazi's attacking me. Uh, I don't know. Action is. Uh, forward select. How do I. How do I punch a Nazi? Oh god, it's actually gone really laggy. There's a chest randomly appeared now. The Nazi gets up. No! Stop! Jumping incredibly slowly, Indy. What are you doing? And he's jumping again. Oh, God. Hey, Don Fakakero. How you doing, man? This is painful to watch. Yeah. 
Ah! I think I'm about dead as well. I think that's my energy bar on the right there. Oh, oh my god. Oh. I think I just got killed there. So we'll just reload the roulette table. Uh, what? What do we do here? I don't understand. Place your bets. So we want to place a zero. Hang on. Oh, left and right. We'll do no, no bet. Oh, we've got to bet on even and odd, haven't we? No, what's it doing? Even, no bet. Let's go odd. And like $30. How do you place a bloody bet? Right. We wanted even, didn't... Hang on, odd. Maybe it's fire button. Hang on. Odd? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it was odd. Okay. Jump again. Oh. And now... I'm trying to punish him. Please don't jump. Oh, I'm not. I've knocked him out. Awesome. Can we take his? Uh, we've got some chocolate, but the Nazi soldier is about to get up again. Would you mind stop punching me? Oh, he's jumping again. Oh! Arnold reckons it we're in the Matrix at the moment. Right, come on. And I'm about to die. Right, uh, I need to use uh, inventory and eat some chocolate. Scroll in. Um, how do I move my infantry? I've paused. Uh, how do I change in? in it says O and P, but that's turn left scroll. Uh, oh, enter infantry mode is letter A. Right, okay. Um. Ah, inventory. Our Indiana Jones died. Because it swapped to other character. Right, I'm trying to... Oh, God. This is so difficult. To, it's so crap to explain that. Right. I think I've just got the gist of it there. That, that was that, that, that was me having a little freak out what the hell is going on moment. I think I've worked out what to do. So, I was trying to get into the inventory to get some chocolate. Eat some chocolate. Get my health back up. We're there. I think I know what we're doing. I think we know what we're doing on the table now. I was pressing the wrong keys. Um, Arnold says we have to cash out in right mark. I think so. <laughs> um, did the Amstrad got slower in 1993 than 1984? This looks backwards evolution wise. Yeah. It's not great, is it? Mike ZT! 
with the two euros <laughs> through the super chat. Just jump, jump a little higher. Yeah, the jump is a bit embarrassing in this, isn't it? Let the bananas rain down in the chat for Mr. Mike ZT. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mike. That's very kind of you. <laughs> it is like he's floating in the freaking matrix there. But, uh, oh well. Uh, Arcade Hall stands in the background, says FD Den Hog. Uh, maybe on the Twitch streams. Yes, yes. Uh, what was that? Sorry, this guy. Uh, oh, are the numbers? Are the numbers the number on the wheel, or you have to chance of landing on odds or evens? I think we just stick to odds or evens, and it should be the opposite every time, or something. I think. That's what I, I thought I found out earlier. This game is a clumsy, confusing mess. It is a bit bad. Yeah. Wayne Jordan. Good evening, Wayne. How you doing, man? How's your coding going? Welcome, man. Welcome. See no employee. Looks like he ate some bad ecstasy at a rave. Probably. Probably. Right, we can, re we can load up again. We can load up again. Oh, God. Right. So what we do here is we choose odd or even. If we choose even, and we're going to... Sorry, I'm getting the controls wrong here. Put no bet on. We should see what wins. If it was odd or even, then we do the opposite next time. I think that's I think that's the plan. That's what I'm trying to do. What? Oh god, and he's jumping again! Will you stop jumping? Oh, okay. Right. Nivrig! <laughs> Nivrig, thank you for the £1.93! Through the super chat there. Let's see the bananas rain down for the Nivrig! <laughs> thank you, my friend, thank you. That will nearly buy me a budget game, that will. Might as well jump. Jump. Yeah. Okay. We're going to load that again. I don't understand what's going wrong with the casino here. Right. Choose odd. No bets. Right? Just gives us a picture of some chips. All right. We'll choose even then. No bet. Five dollars on even. And it was odd. So we've got to do even again. Right, this is the theory. It was it, it, it was odd last time. Taking a snapshot here. And we won. It was even, so next time it will be odd, right? This, I think that's the trick that we're trying to work out. So if I bet all my money on odd next time, it should work, okay? Uh, so we need odd. The only problem is we've got that Nazi soldier bothering us. This should win. Let's take a snappy. Ready? It didn't. What? He's freaking jumping again. Will you stop jumping for the love of God? Fire and down seems to do a tr seems to do the trick. Can we can we take the ch the chest there of the chocolate? Right, firing down does the does your attack? Oh, 
Oh, it's just press the down button does the attack. Interesting, no fire button, just press down. Okay. Right, we need to eat some chocolate as our energy's going low. And my, my theory... Oh, God, it's going so slow. My theory on the on the table is proven wrong. Uh, how do we select the inventory item? Space bar. Chocolate. Chocolate. Right, when I lure this Nazi, this Nazi soldier is peeing me off. Something rotten. So I'll probably just leave him on merry-go-round here. He's jumping for the reset button. Okay. We won't hopefully won't spend too much longer on this one, guys. So, uh, to the question of tonight, um, in 1993, for those of you that are Amsterdam fans, so I'm excluding Juffa from this. <laughs> um, what were you doing in 1993? Were you still playing on the Amstrad? Uh, and were you still looking for games on the Amstrad? Oh no, the Nazi soldiers followed us all the way around here. <laughs> the swine. Oh, got a big punch on me there. Come on, Indy. Indy, please. The game's gone to a crawl. I mean, we decked him. You don't stay down for long, though. Oh, he's, he's going the other way. He's coming back, though. Right, can I please play on the table? Bloody jumping again! Oh! Right. oh, I might need to... Oh, do I need to change my inventory? Oh, I'm on the table. Um, so I think it. Oh, I can't remember what it is now. Uh, was it even or odd last time? I think it was even. So I'm gonna go with odd, and we're gonna bet eighty dollars. That's the maximum we can do. It was even. All right, let's bet even then. Reload the snapshot. It was even, so it should be odd next time, I think. Right. Oh, I'm just going to pause it. Let's catch up with the chat there for a minute. Oh, this game's already doing my nut in. Um, we're $100 into the $2,000 we need. Uh, I might move on, actually. Um, this is like Sam Fox uh, Poker says movie without the threat of slightly rough looking boobs. <laughs> Um, yep, uh, Robin says, Yep, still had my Amstrad. Cool, good man. Smoothie says, 993. I was on the Amiga 600 then, by uh, what he thinks. Fair enough. Hey, AD Sneaker Freak, how you doing, mate? 993 was all Amiga, baby. That's another love story. Fair enough. Uh, Bryce says, Sadly, I was into Sonic the Hedgehog by then and neglecting my poor CPC. Shame on you, Brian. Shame on you. <laughs> Um, Rob Berry says I had a Mega 1200 HDs. Ooh, nice. But I've left the uh, eight bits far behind. Fair enough. None of your bits middle the Mega. Uh, Nish was still very much using his CPC 1993. There you go. Uh, Wayne says 93. I've moved on to the Acorn A3000. We have an Acorn user in the chat. Uh, uh, is that Archimedes, right? Yeah. We have an Archimedes user in the chat. Awesome, Wayne. Um, and Andy UK Monkey says I bought a Mega Drive of Sonic 2 and Mega Games 2 in 93. Fair enough, yeah. 
Uh, hey, Ma uh, welcome back, Matt. It says my CPC was expanded in various ways, but I was still using it as my only computer until May 1995. My CPC was connected to the internet, and I was sending email and poking around with, a, with Unix via a modem. Nice. Uh, I'll tell you what, guys. I was still almost similar to Matt there. I was still using my Amstrad in 1995, and I was still doing like um, homework and coursework on it. My DMP 2000 printer, Mini Office 2, later on Tazword, and I think something else. Uh, Tazword 6128, uh, I can see it on my shelf there. And Maxam, the, the assembler. Great assembler that was for machine code. Uh, I was still using it in 1995. So I skipped the 16-bit era. Uh, I went straight to 32-bit of my first PC in June of 1995. I think it was an AST PC, and it only had like something like was it four megs of RAM or eight megs of RAM. Um, not enough to run Windows 95 smoothly. It was below the recommended specs for specs for Windows 95, and it ran like an absolute dog. Uh, my dad took it back to the shop and screamed at them and uh, quoted Sailor Goods Act and all sorts. And um, we got us we got a better PC from it. I think another AST. Was it AST your brand? I can't remember now. I don't have the same nostalgia I do for my first PC as I do for my first Amstrad. Put it that way. I don't remember. Um, Batman was still had his system to was still buying games. Must have been nostalgic even back then as I also had a Mega Drive and SNES in 93. Good man. Um, hey, what was the last bet we did? Was it odd? I think it was. Uh, I'll take a snappy here just in case. Even. $80. We win! Uh, so now it's odd, right? Taking a snappy here. We win! Odd. So it's even next. Even, even, even. 80 Taking a snappy just in case. I think we've cracked it. I think we've cracked it. It's not. It's odd. Oh, well, save some. Oh, man. Maybe I haven't cracked it. Let's try that. It was odd. This time it should be even. Oh. It is. Huh. Huh. Not sure on this one then, guys. In 1993, you visited Amstrad Action, Matt. Tell us more about that. How did that come about? Um, This looks and sounds so frustrating. It is. We're trying to work out the roulette table and how you beat it. And I thought I'd cracked it like earlier, and I may be wrong. Uh, Tazong in 1992, Mid Atari ST, and a box of bootleg games, Naughty Boy. Quite, uh, what was that there from Smoothies? Uh, damn it, I missed, a, I missed a, good, a good comment there. Oh, my eyes are going a bit funny. I might have to take a break in a bit, actually. Uh, it's like my PC is from SCOM. Remember them briefly in the summer of 95? The name vaguely rings a bell. Uh, does anyone remember AST? Was that a brand? Am I going nuts? <laughs> yes, you will, Brian. Never mind. Uh, and Mrs. Zypher was not, uh, on a Mega Drive by 1993. A lot of Mega Drive users. And the first person that's saying SNES there is Televiewer. There you go. Mega Drive was really popular in the UK. I forget about that. Most of us thought that the Humble Amstrad was a genuine working PC in the right hands. Indeed. I was still doing all my coursework on it, and especially all my essays. So, um, yeah. Right, right, okay. Yeah, this is an odd game. What was the resupply in 1993? Uh, for this one, uh, I might know. Hang on. Uh, I've got the French magazine here. 
Oh, excuse me. Um, this one actually, for once, they've not they've not put the price. So I don't know. It's just it, it's probably been about ten ninety nine on tape, uh, fourteen ninety nine on disc. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I can't find a price for it, so I think it'd probably just be standard full pro uh, standard prices at the time. Hey, Mark Dixon, welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Right, so we got even. It should be odd next time. Theoretically. It... Let's try it. It is. I think what it does, it, it flips back from odd to even, odd to even, and then even, odd, even, odd, odd, even, odd, even, even, odd. I think that's how it goes. We'll test that out. So we've got it right twice in a row now by doing the opposite. So we did odd here. So it should be even this time. Unfortunately, we're engaging a fist fight now, the, this dickhead. Oh crap, he's about to knock me out, I think. We also need to pick up the chocolate and get the hell out of here. Right, use the chocolate quickly. There. Why can't I use the chocolate? Oh, space bar. You have to use space bar now. Okay. Chocolate restores my energy. Can I can I play the roulette table from here? I can. Hang on. What did we say the last one was? Uh. AST Research was a brand I could start getting mad. Thank you. I think they sponsored the football team at the time, bizarrely something like Aston Villa as well. It was I remember it being AST and ASTON Villa as well. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um was there any games in the PCW range? Whether I had one to do his college with I never once saw a game on it. Yeah, a few actually. Um the Ritman Ritman Brothers uh, uh, not Ritman Brothers, John Ritman and Birdie Drummond. They converted their games, so you got Batman the Isometric game, head over heels. On it, uh, match day two was on it. Quite a few games in the PCW, all in green screen, um, but pretty good. Hey Henry, or oh, Henri, it's says time to leave. Heading on holiday tomorrow morning. Thank you so much and have a nice weekend, everybody. Enjoy the stream. Good night, Henri. Take care, man. Uh, happy uh, bon voyage, and have a lovely holiday, my friend. Thank you as well for the dono, earlier. Much appreciated. Right. And oh, crap, I've forgotten. Was it odd or even we did last time? I, I'll just take a snappy and fudge it out. I think it was even last time, wasn't it? Test, $80. Bugger, got the wrong one. That means I've ruined... Oh, even, $80. Even. Right, so the next one should be odd, right? Odd? Eighty dollars, odd. Damn it! It's freaking even. So I, I don't. I don't know. Let's just 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 cheat cheat away through even. Even. Now it should be odd, right? Odd. Eighty dollars. Oh, I can only go up to $60. What the hell? The table value has gone down. Even again. I don't get it. I thought we worked out the system. Yeah, this game is really odd, Mark. So, and I thought we might have cracked this, but I don't know. Where was I reading up on this? Maybe it only works on a certain different version, not on the Amstrad. There's supposed to be some way of knowing what's going to come on 
the table. Um. Uh, Place a bet on the opposite number type. Uh, oh, is Anna here? Hey, Anna. Sorry I missed you. Hey, Anna. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, house tricks, Anna. And Jez Dukes as well. Good evening, Jez, as well, my friend. Oh, damn. Welcome, Jez. Welcome, welcome. Um, random generative stuff you play in the rest of the game that doesn't exist. Ocean Software's trademark. <laughs> Sadly not. I have played through the entirety of this game before. Is it something to do with where I am stood at the table? I don't know, but that Nazi dickhead's there. Odd. 80. Try it again. It's even! What? Or did I just reload from a wrong place? I don't know. Even. Let's try even again. If this time it's odd. Odd. Now it should be even. Right? It was odd. Now it's even. It's even. Oh man. So now it should be odd. Theoretically. It is. Even. We win! <sighs> uh, now it should be odd. Right? Take a snappy here. 14. Save that. Okay. It's gone back to even again. I, I can't work out this pattern. Oh. Indiana Jones, the paint drying simulator of doing all I wanted to do was get through the first level. So we've got to win $2,000. That's all we're going to do. This time it goes to even. Back to even. Uh, will it go to odd again? Or will it stay on uh, even? Let's, let's find out. In this ex exciting episode, no bet. Oh, he's closed the table. And now we've got to fight the Nazi. <gasps> oh, it's so laggy. Literally about 10 or 20 seconds went by before that registered any kind of action. Oh my god. Every time you punch him, he drops chocolate. <laughs> Andy UK Monkey, how you doing, man? I don't remember the part of the film where Indy spent 40 my five minutes trying to play bloody roulette. Well, this never got made into a film, sadly. Oh, I need to change to chips again. Oh. Yeah, there we go. It's back on. We're back on. Even. No bet. Bet on the table anymore. Oh, this is just pain, guys. I know, I know. 
Also, we need to eat chocolate. Come on. Choose the chocolate before the Nazi gets there. Quick. Right, get out of here. I think he's closed the table and I don't know where to go next to get more. Oh, man. Right, let me just have a look at a map here quickly. I've got... So, annoyingly, uh, this roulette table here we're on allows us to play up to the higher limit. The other tables do a lower limit, I believe. And I think we've just, I think we've just cheesed it too much. Uh, so, I think we'll go up another level on the stairs. And hopefully, we'll have tables up there. And then we'll move on from this blooming game. It's just taking way too long, guys. By the way, that's from your review. Uh, what was that, Tazong? Hang on. Was that earlier in the chat? Hang on. Why did this use to play two tables? Uh, that would make sense. The closer table after you get to like $1,000. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Tazong. Did you just go back and watch my video on this game? Because I, I didn't bother watching it before the tonight's stream. Right, how do we get up the stairs here? Oh, I think we're at the top of the stairs. Crap, where the far am I then? Uh, okay, I know where I am. I know where I am. We need to go. All right, we're going to go down a level then. Crap. Let's call it 1 out of 10 that's been generous. Well, the thing is, it's annoying. There's more to this game um, than what we're seeing. And I was hoping I'd be able to work it out. At least, guys, I'm not doing like a full uh, playthrough of this tonight. I just... <laughs> I just wanted to beat the first freaking level. I mean, Jesus. And now we've got, we've got another Nazi following us. I think there's another table down here somewhere there we go thank you uh, a to change inventory chips uh what's that red square so we need to look at what red square is or something sorry but this table is closed oh far off i was gonna say something worse than that uh there's another table over the other side god Damn it. That square means the table is closed. Oh, well. You know, this is a long. I've spent a long time on an isometric game. Manuel's giving it a 1 out of 10. You like the dancing green worm at the bottom, Anna? <laughs> Where the far is this other... Right, oh, it's further over. Okay. I don't think the Nazi's getting confused there. Good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's the table. Please, for the love of God, be open. Ah! This uh, it means that the table is closed. Oh. Sakes. Uh. Right, okay. I'm going to go back to the bottom floor and use the tables there. This is a load of poop. Okay. Yep. All right, all right, I know. Uh, we better use the chocolate because our energy is really low. Right, and we're going to get the hell out of here. Tell you what I'll do. I'm going to put the speed up to 200%. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Have a little little cheat there. 200% speed. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. That's it. A full playthrough will be great for ice uh, insomniacs. <laughs> it is a bit of a lousy way to start a game. Oh, 
All right, here we go. Right, put it down. To, we're at a table at the bottom here. Please be freaking open. Also, we're running really low on chocolate. Ah, it's closed. What the hell? All right, there's one in the middle. Right, okay. Cross from us. But I've got a freaking Nazi after us. Go up here, go up here. 300% speed. Solution is easy, uh, uh, says Alex. Just find a table that's open. <laughs> Here's one. Here's one. Please be open. Please. What? Square means closed, just to reiterate there. Unbelievable. Right, it's another last table is down here somewhere. There's literally no other tables. Oh, there's a Nazi. Oh no, there's a Nazi there. Oh. And I just died. I'm caught. I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm done with that. I. I do you know what? I just have to admit defeat at some point. I hate doing it. I planned all this out and I hate having to sort of not get to where I said a word, but for the sake of the stream, for the sake of everyone's enjoyment and my sanity, we're moving on from that. Um, we will probably do an updated long playing review of that on the channel at some point not soon though and we'll work out what the frick to do in that oh I'm sorry it's, it sent Nish to sleep sorry Nish oh dear I can hear baby Zypho upstairs not happy good night Nish we are moving on to the next game trust me <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend. Anyway, take care, Nish. Good night, man. Oh, my God. Right. Um, yeah, we're going to do a fun game next. We're going to have some Super Cauldron. We're going to do some Super Cauldron next. I'm just going to go and grab a drink from the fridge, guys. Um, dare I say, um, dare I ask, actually, what score out of 10 would you give Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis? One of the rarest games on the Amstrad, probably one of the most expensive taped or discs out there. And partly, to be fair, partly the first half of me, uh, of the screw up there, was mostly me and the controls, getting the controls wrong. But because there isn't an English manual, we've got a scan of. Mr. Babs, if you're still with us, we need a scan of that manual. Half out of ten from Neil. Right, I'm gonna be I'm just gonna grab a drink from the fridge, guys. I will be right back in like 30 seconds, one minute, okay? And I'll look at your scores for the game when I get back. Alright, be right back.
Alright guys, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I have, um, I did sort of make a promise to myself. Was it was it a game last week on the Amstream? Or was it a week before? I can't remember. And I ended up playing, playing it for way too long. And it's like, at some point, I just have to just go, stop, move on. I think the chat probably needs to tell me as well. I think you dropped enough hints anyway. I did listen eventually. So it's a bad habit of mine because I don't like leaving things unfinished. If I have to set myself a target to do something, which I thought was a reasonable target. Honestly, <coughs> um, I thought we could do those roulette tables in like 10 minutes. Like it'd be a bit boring 10 minutes, but we would talk about stuff and have a laugh. Um, but it, it, it wasn't working, the roulette table, and that Nazi just kept oh, bothering us. That's the thing, you put, you knock down one of the soldiers, and uh, within like five seconds, he's back on his feet again, and he's bothering you. Oh, it's just really bad game design. So, all the scores are not good. The scores are not good. Three out of ten. Uh, yeah, 200 pound, 200 quid plus for this crap, unpaid 200 p. I mean, kind of, see like, there's some puzzle solving later on. There is some action sections. There's a section I know where you've got you to jump and grab onto a moving hook to swing across onto a submarine. But it's the same kind of isometric look and it's all slow and crap. Um, there's a level inside Atlantis itself where you're doing some platform jumping, believe it or not. There's a, there's a section in a submarine where you've got to defuse a bomb uh, within a set time. That's kind of cool. And there's a there's one of the Nazi camps you have to break into and steal stuff from whilst avoiding like the searchlights moving around. A bit like a cross between hostages and the Great Escape games. So there's, there's like some good ideas in this, uh, but it just p plays at a snail's pace. So one out of, one and a half from Manship, one from Smoothie. Uh, odd out of ten. <laughs> I've seen Dead Hog. Um, welcome back, to all Paul. Sorry you found me on a break there. I don't have a, I don't have a long break there. Hey Claude, how you doing, man? As well, Darren Halstrix. Uh What's up with the kids, Mrs. Zypho? Uh, what's going on? Hang on. Right, okay, L let me know in the chat if there's any, uh, let me know, or Discord message, or uh, in the chat, if you need any help. Is it just Mini Zypho being a pain? And Pulse gives it a 5 out of 10. Right, we're going to get some super cauldron up. The um, man shovel will like this one. Right, that's going to pause my music here. Right, super cauldron. Yeah, looking forward to this. This is a good game. Um, uh, monitor synchronization, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, case of this arrangement is made on non amateur screens, choose one of the special versions. That's kind of cool, that's accounting for different monitors and maybe different TVs that have different, I don't know, frequencies, and this will, um, work on them. We've got three different options below, anyway. Click on the standard. Nice opening logo there. Baby side screaming, older kids bumbling about isn't helping. Can I run away, please? Obviously, as long as the older boys are behaving themselves and not falling out, that's all we care about generally. And Mini Zypho, oh, he's going to have a tough night tonight. It's going to be very hot. Maybe leave his door open, get some airflow. Risky with noise. Man, shit, we're finally telling the truth there. <laughs> you like this one, the other two are crap. Tight is the sign of quality. Not always, not always. But I'd say here, yes. <laughs> You've seen this a few times on eBay, Andy. I only remember seeing this like once in like the last, um, God knows how many years. And I think I missed out on it just. And it went for ridiculous money anyway. Oh. 
that Indiana Chains game is upset Mini Sci Fi. <laughs> it's upset me. I think it upset a few people. It's a shame because I think we lost quite a few viewers during, during that. Like, we got up to like something like 97 viewers at one point just as we were starting that game, and now we've dropped down to like 74. Still, that's, good. that's a good number of viewers anyway. Uh, is Mr. Bad still here? Because we need to get him to scan the uh, the manual for that Indiana Jones game. In the South of Netherlands, the flooding is terrible. I heard that there is some bad flooding around. Is it like Western Europe, isn't it? That's all things he'll upset everyone. Damn. I just wanted to show you a good chunk of like the game. And I wasn't able to. Anyway. Nice introduction screen. Awesome music. Look at it, it's full screen guys, into the borders as well. Lovely stuff. Right, we'll skip that and move on. Maybe his eye's still going. Maybe, he's, is it re is he hot, Mrs. iPhone? Is his room like an oven? You know what I'm thinking of doing, Mrs. I? I think I'm think I'm thinking of putting like a big corner shelf in his room. And... We're, and we'll get a big fan and put it on top of that corner shelf so he can't reach it. And the cable, I'll just, I'll put the cable into the corner of the, where the walls, there, like there, in the middle of the joint of the, where the two walls join. And then put cable, um, oh, what do you call them? He hammering them in and keeps like the cable attached to the wall so he can't pull it down and stuff. But uh, yeah, that, that, that's what I, I've had a thought. Maybe we could do that. Put a fan there. We could put a night light there and that music box. Mm. Anyway, anyway, sorry. Talking about domestic stuff there. Right, Super Cauldron. 1992 from Titus, it says. But actually, this didn't get released until 93. So it was probably finished in late 92. And I think it appeared on the Amstrad in about... Uh, well, in its finished version in the box. Distributed in uh, 90, early 1993. Most of the magazine reviews. Why is it? Why? Why can we hear the disc uh, whirring away? I'll turn that sound off then. Uh, most of the magazine magazines uh, in in the UK and France reviewed it in like February and March time or something like that. Anyway, so yeah, nineteen ninety three. This one. I don't care what it says on the title screen. Um, certainly wasn't available before that. Anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> Hey Alex, no worries. Uh, it says I'm off again. Funny looks watching an am stream on a crowded patio of booze and bills and short shirt, short shorts on display. I should probably act like a normal person. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Well, no worries, Alex. You take care, man. <laughs> and enjoy your um, what was it you were having? Mint tulips, wasn't it, or something like that? And the, enjoy the ladies, but not enjoy them too much. You know, don't get in trouble or anything. Don't be naughty. Right, here we go. Super Cauldron. Can I remember what to do here? Look at these lovely graphics and things going on in the background. Uh, right, what do we do here? Oh, we've got a broom. Look how it moves around really nicely and smoothly. Using the CRTC trick to do that. Room there. Oh, there's a hidden area up here. Somewhere. I think. Damn it, I got hit by a rocket. Um, maybe not then. You should see like a cross of stars. Uh, and that is the secret area we're looking for. Ass. Um... I got stuck. Okay, that's a bit odd. I don't think I've ever had. I don't think I've ever got stuck there before. That's um, unusual. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, press down at tree stumps. That is coming back to me. And then you can move into other areas. It does look like she's having a wee. A bit. A bit. Uh, crap. I, I, I think I needed to go up there. Oh, that kills me. Oh, okay. I'm going to put some music on in the background. Just quietly. Uh, what was that? Hey, uh, German78, no worries, my friend. You take care, dude. And hopefully we'll catch you soon. Have a great weekend and all that jazz. And stay metal, brother. Um... Ah, uh, sorry, Juffer, for that hot ca casino action there. Take care, Juffer, as well. Have a great weekend, mate. How do we get over those spikes to that? We need to get that potion there. And I'm not sure how we get there. Hmm. I forget. Oh no, the bouncing pumpkins. I don't think you can kill these. Oh, man, I've got the timing wrong there. Tree stump, this might be a um, hidden area. Yep. Okay. Ow. Snake there. I just get through that bit. Go, go. No! Oh! Wrecked. I love like the, uh, the fiery effects in the background there. That's a really nice touch. And of course, I vastly uh, prefer this to the other two cauldron games. So we're collecting spells for our spell book, essentially. Ow! Oh, for goodness sakes. And if you... Oh, you cheeky snake. Oh! It's also very tough. I've got to take things a lot more cautiously. If you destroy enemies, a frog is released. I can't remember what the frog does exactly. Oh, you stupid boy. No. Wrecked. We'll try that again. It is not my night tonight, though, no, in terms of gameplay. But we're not going to play this super seriously tonight, Super Cauldron. Uh, I, I have done videos on this and beaten the game before a long time ago. Secret area is here, I remember now. Okay, it's up in here. Look for the stars. I'm like There it is. There it is. There you go. There you go. Hey, the witch, can, she, can, she can jump quite a bit. Uh, what do we gain at the end here? I don't know exactly what we actually gain from this bit. Uh, I'm not
not sure what those green things give us either. So I think it was just a fun area to have a little play around in. Never mind. Uh, those, back and, those background effects are awesome. They are indeed, Brian. I love this game. This is definitely a game. It's a, ro it's a It's another extremely rare game on the Amstrad. And it's definitely another I would be... I would want to part money with for... Rather than uh, Indiana Jones. Although low-key, I kind of I kind of would like to own Indiana Jones. Right. Right, there's a, I'm sure there's a, an area there. Let's wait for my broom to disappear. Okay, oh. And I think, is this the area we were just in before? Oh no, this is a different area. Different area of a different spell. The owl got me there. Got it. There you go. Okay. Right. I don't know what that little creature is, but we got it. And now we're going to jump between the pumpkins. Oh! Manuel! Manuel Schultz! Oh my god! Thank you for the 19 francs there! Swiss francs! Holy crap! Dude! Thank you, Manuel! Oh my god! Let the bananas hit the floor! Let them rain down! Manuel, thank you. Was there, sorry, was there any message with that? He says, thanks for the show, Zai, and good night to you and the whole Ams gang. See you next week. No worries, Manuel. Good night, Manuel. Thank you very, 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 very much. Uh, have an awesome uh, weekend and enjoy your little campfire in Switzerland. Thank you so much. That's uh, really, really awesome of you. Um... Thank you, Manuel. Take care. Have a great way weekend. And all the best to Mrs. Schultz as well. Thank you. Thank you. And good night. Uh, Jim Lee and Pause of Vlogs. Welcome, my friend. So I hope you still catch some classics. Yeah, we're on one right now. Super cold and it's a bloody brilliant game. Oh, is Technic off as well? Hey, Technic. Um, good night, Technic. Uh, all the best to you. Thank you, Technic. You take care, dude. And we'll see you again soon as well, man. Have a great weekend. Uh, plus machine game, I think, says Anna. Uh, this doesn't use any of the plus um, features, Anna. This is playing on a stock uh, CPC. But the other game from the same author, which we'll look at later on tonight, at the end, uh, Prehistoric 2, does. That's the one with the plus features. So, so you're very close, Anna. Very close. Um, and uh, Dream Lee and Pars of Vlogs, I hope you're keeping well. Right, let me just see if we can actually get any progress on this. Uh, whoa! I, I don't understand why I sort of took damage there, but hey. Can you not? Oh, you can't destroy these. Oh man, these are these are annoying. Oh. If we could have got to the broom there, we could have got to the end of, end of that level there. Right, okay. Okay. got me there.
Oh, hang on. Got it. There's a tree stump there. This oh, no! Oh, this isn't a tree stump to go in. Okay. So we've just got to get to the end. There's an end gate here. Please take me to the item we need. What? After all that? Let's just take us back to the main area. Oh, man. I'm really lost. I think there's like a map on um, the CPC Power website. I'll have a quick look at that uh, and then we'll probably move on. Super Cauldron. Let's have a look. And I'll bring it up on screen for you in just a tick. Oh, good grief, more bananas in the chat. Lewis Waddo, the lovely Lou. How are you doing, man? Let's give you a load of dancing sugars and fireworks. For the $4.99 through the super chat. He says, uh, fashionably late uh, to the party. Evening, you Amstrad loving beauties. Big up the side. <laughs> Thank you, man. Let the bananas rain down in the chat for the lovely Lewis. How are you doing, man? Good to see you, dude. What have you been up to today? Any good arcade machines you've been working on? Uh, Brian says, I wonder how AA would have scored this game. It's definitely in the high 90s for me. I think they gave it something like 93% or 94%. Um, I can double, double check. I've actually got a list of all the review scores. Ooh, well, I've got to go find the documents, um, but I can do. Um, Anna's hugging the night box. What's going on there? And then pokes the night box. Oh, was it not behaving and, and producing bananas a minute ago? Okay. but uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was very nice of Lewis there. Right, I found a map on CPC Power. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, how is this not marked which tree stumps do what? So the, the, this and this is like the outer... Oh no, it's not. Uh... Oh! Oh, we missed a tree stump here when we were like traversing all this crap and if we got we went for this fiery one that was this this section here where you see my mouse cursor's going guys that was the one that like the flashing red in the background the flames and stuff um yeah it's not a big map i think i just got lost on. So we needed to complete this section and then we needed to get to this. But where did we enter before we, we went we entered in some this similar area like this before, didn't we? And we got killed on some spikes. So I don't quite un I think this map's missing a bit. Yeah, I'm confused. Yeah, this map's missing a bit. Okay, so that's not good. Right, so where where were we? Okay. And we're getting wrecked. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I need to switch back. Zypher, your work alarm is going off. No, it isn't on a Friday. <laughs> No, no, no work tonight. Thank God. I am bloody shattered though. Hey, Arnold. Good night, Arnold. Thank you for the earlier dono as well, mate. Take care and have a great weekend. See ya. And Mike ZT as well. Good night, dude. As well, thank you for the dono earlier as well, dude. It's very kind of both of you. Take care. Have a great weekend and we'll see you soon. Um, uh, Lewis has been working my fingers to the bone on the cabs today, keeping our patrons happy. 
Really? Any, oh, ooh, okay. So just general uh, game round upkeep on them. No, uh, not, not any particularly exciting project today or anything like that. Um, but good night, Arnold. And good night, Mike ZT. And um, Mad Commodore, welcome to the stream as well. How are you doing, my friend? I'm going to get wrecked here by that owl. You... Oh, this is another portal. Hang on, there isn't a map. For th this one wasn't on the map either. Can we... Let's see if I can destroy these things. I don't think you can, which is why there's these springs. There's like a power gauge meter I'm building up to shoot these. Yeah, that, that, that's not die. Oh, in. Oh! I don't understand. Why, why is she not jumping very high? And then the oh no, that was death. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, bless. Does anybody want to see any more super cauldron, or shall we move on? So we, uh, we can give it another go. I think I know where I'm going now. Um, but if you want, if you want to, if we want to move on to the next game, we can do. Uh, Zyko, what's the sto law story of this game? Um, so. Go and look at the package. Ugh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm trying to read the back of this box, and it's not easy. Hang on, because the quality isn't great. You, um, FC Den Hog. There's, um, help. Zamira, the friendly witch, find her lost magical powers in a world haunted by jumping pumpkins, gargoyles, bats, many of the bitch creatures. Search for the source of evil and free the kingdom from darkness. Restore life and happiness to the people of this land. Um, save the creatures of the forest from the demon's curse. That's roughly the back of the box there. So it's like, find your magical powers. You will find your magical witchy powers. Um... Actually, I'll switch back. Once you've got a specific power, it will allow you to access a certain area that you couldn't access before. Oh, remember that area, that cave, where there was like loads of spikes. I was like, how the frick do I get over to that? Over that. There'll be a power that will get you across there. And you have to find it in the level. And that will take you to the next level. And I think there's a boss battle at the very, very end of the game as well, which is kind of cool. But, um, yeah. Uh, hey, Mark Walbridge, good evening, dude, as well. Welcome. 93 was an awesome year for so many things. What were they then for you, Mark? What was the awesome things? Uh, um, Mad Commander says, uh, how's the heat in the Amsterdam? It is 28 degrees currently. And it's not fun. <laughs> and Lewis is to be keeping the floor running. The current big project is getting two more Outrun, 20, uh, two more Outrun 2006 running. Oh, I'll be on that. I loved uh, that Outrun game. The 2006 one, as well as the original, of course. The two Sega Rally free cabs, loads of fun. <laughs> um, France Races and the CPC is the only 8 bit port. Yep, same with Prehistoric 2 as well. And I think with Crazy Cars 3, which is coming up tonight as well. Oh, God. Um, Neil says next. I hope you see more of this game. Uh, Wayne's off. Good night, Wayne. Uh, I don't know if you uh, said it earlier, but any uh, how's the coding going on emulators and stuff? <laughs> if, uh, if if you got a sheet, mate, don't worry. Um, we'll talk another time. Take care, Wayne. Have a great weekend. Uh, Biffy Stopper. Good evening as well, my friend. Oh, excuse me. Right. Well, um, hmm, some of the games we got to do tonight. Maybe I should spin on actually. Hmm. Uh, let's do. 
yeah, let's do. Let, should we do another game? Um, do you know what, Batman? I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna ask for scores because I don't think we'd seen enough of the game. But uh, I think the scores coming from Super Culture. I'll give it a nine out of ten. I will tell you what, we'll have one quick, one more quick blast of it, and then we'll move on. Okay, guys. See if I can get through one of those uh, little sections that I get stuck on. Uh, so don't worry about that broom. Worry about that guy. Ass. Oh, I think he just got hit by a rocket. Got him. And we'll take this portal here. We have to wait until we got no longer got the broom rather annoyingly. Okay, it's here. Right, okay. This is the one. Now we've got to check each of the tree stumps here, because I think I'm sure we missed one. There's one. Let's check it. No. We need to get that owl. There we go. Go on, you little turd. Got him. Ow. Tree stump. Oh, it's not a portal. Okay. Damn. And now we've got a really horrible section of these guys. Hmm. Lewis giving it a nine. Brian a nine as well. Get out of here then. I don't know where. I must have missed an area somewhere. Oh, there's a bridge over some water, I think. Annoying ass owl there. Okay, we got rid of it. Okay. All right, nothing there. Under that pumpkin, I think. Oh, there it is. Here's one. Where does this take us? Ah, this is the fire realm. Okay. All right, we're through. Oh, we did it. Get over the snake. Because this. Oh, sod off then. You don't kill the snake quick enough. Breathes fire all over you. Ow! What? <sighs> you gotta kill that snake. hits does this douchebag take? Five, six, seven, eight. Eight hits to kill the snake. And here it is. After this, after these fires. Maybe you can hit it from here. Uh, 
This is the only bit of the game that gets a bit boring, maybe. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, that's hitting him. Three. Four. Five. It was eight hits, wasn't it, before? Six. Too much. Seven. Eight. What? Why is he not dead? Oh, this bit is nuts. Hey, it's a joke, Lil. Hey, hey, you, Joe. How's it going, man? We killed it! And then I died. No! Right, I know how to do it then. Hey, everyone in the chat says, apologies for being a bit AOL recently. Pub life. No worries, Joe. Joe, it must be nuts in pubs at the moment. And it's going to be more so after Monday. So good good luck. And you have my sympathies, Joe. I hope you're keeping well, though, mate. Seriously. Ow. Oh, I nearly had him there. Might have to be a little bit further back. Yes. Here we go. Jump, little witch, jump. And I can't make the jump. All right, I'm leaving Super Golden there. I got wrecked. Yikes. Okay, never mind. Right, let's catch up with the chat then, because I'm, I'm missing quite a bit. Um. Hey, uh, Tiago uh, Mura, welcome to the stream. It says, hey, everyone in Zypho. Any recommendations for Amstrad games? I'm from Brazil and this video game uh, didn't come to my country. Oh, okay. Well, first of all, welcome to the Amstream, Tiago. And uh, nice to have someone from Brazil here. Hola. And um, wow. Uh, I mean, this is actually quite a good game. This is called Super Cauldron. It is really, really tough, though. Um, what would I recommend? Um... Uh, start with the big games before we get into the deeper cuts. So I'll have a look at Robocop, uh, Renegade and Target Renegade, uh, Operation Wolf, uh, Ikari Warriors, Commando. Anyone got any other suggestions for Tiago? If everyone could tag Tiago and say hello as well, give him a, a nice uh, welcoming, that would be cool. There we go. Hello. I'll, I'll, I'll start off as well. Chase HQ. Yeah. Uh, but Tiago, to be honest, some of the best games have been like the homebrew releases. You know, people made at home in, in their bedrooms and stuff in the last few years. So I hard, highly recommend, if you can make a note of this, uh, The Abduction of Oscar Z, um, Alcon 2020, um, Pinball Dreams. They're kind of like the top three of the most recent years. Yeah. So I'll write them down for you in the chat there. So you can go looking for them. Tiago, uh, uh, abduction of Oscar Z, uh, Alcon 2020, and what was the other one? Uh, oh, yeah, Pimple Dreams. Yeah, they're good. Other good ones, uh, Relentless, Super Edge Grinder, from Axel A, he's a great coder. Um, Sword of Ayana was bloody brilliant as well. And if you like your football games, CPC Soccer. It's it's incredibly broken and buggy, but it's great fun. It's great fun. But welcome to the Amstrad, uh, Amstream, my friends. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, you're just happy. Joe, you're happy the football's over. over. I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. Okay, next game tonight then. 
Um. Ooh. Okay. Let's do. Let's do a shortish one. Let's have a look. At, actually, no. I've changed my mind. We're gonna do Robin Hood Legend Quest from 1993, of course. Yeah, anything from the ocean ocean label is probably a good shout. Um, Man Shovel, that's coming up, but don't recommend that to uh, Tiago. <laughs> uh, I'll turn the just destroy sounds back on. Oh, music! And uh, not great music. Oh yeah, Batman the movie, that's a very, very good game as well. Oh, it's Alpha set off. Hang on, let me just see. Hey, um, Alpha set, sorry, I uh, hope you're still here so I can say goodbye to you properly. Alpha set, take care, my friend. Rock on, dude. And have a great weekend. Yeah, some of the, the best games are the more recent ones, Tiago. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, music's okay. There's, there, there's better music in other games, trust me on that, Tiago. The music just sounds a bit broken, doesn't it? It's a bit odd. Oh, one sec, guys. Oh, the door here, Slayer. Oh, and uh, Tiago, if you like Donkey Kong. Uh, the Amps have got a very near arcade perfect port of Donkey Kong, so that's highly recommended as well. Right. Oh, little jingle as we start the game. That's nice. I think there is something up with the music there. It might be the emulator we're using. This is very clearly a ZX Spectrum port. Okay. Right, how do we... Arse. Okay, 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 okay. So, we need to take... We need to kill this guy. Near the arrows, he's fired. We killed him, but we died in the process. So, obviously, we're collecting keys here. Uh, that's the door we came in, so don't worry about that. Yes. Yeah, hmm. Okay. God, it's got color clash. How is that possible? I mean, it's obviously from the ZX Spectrum, but like, how does the color clash carry over to the Amstrad? That doesn't really seem to make sense. Uh, it moves okay. I mean, the sprite itself... Is... Oh! Ha! <laughs> it doesn't give you much time to react. Uh, because it takes ages to draw... We got him. See eyes there. I've always wanted to progress a bit more in this game as well. We have played this a couple of times in the stream. Uh, I've got a key down there. Okay. And right, 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 right. Duck. 
Oh, right, okay. When you jump straight up, you can't then just direct, press a, press a direction to sort of direct the fall of the character. That's a shame. Go, go, go. Sp ooh, springboard should take us up, surely. Oh, he bounces higher and higher. Nice. There's a... There's a... Oh, yeah, there's a ladder below, actually. E. We need to get to the top there then. So we need to climb up here. Ooh. Patrol's a little bit stiff at times. Let me uh, just catch up with the chat there. Sorry guys, I keep missing you. Um, who was making Specky Games in 93 to even port to the CPC? Well, to be fair, let's say, come on, Simi. The Spectrum was a more popular computer. So, yeah, we... Um, we were looking for ports, uh, for specy ports in '93. Uh, uh, <laughs> calculate your port. Um, Alan Sugar should have made uh, mode one password lock screen for all the lazy port punch. That's an idea. Um, uh, it's like, well, why still the color clash if it's ported? At least resolve the color clash. That I don't understand because the color clash happens in the spectrum because of attribute clash, and Amstrad doesn't have that problem. So I, I don't understand. How it's carried over here. Macon says uh, it's a bit like Commodore 64 Ranorama. All the bad points of uh, the C64 and all the bad points of the Spectrum original. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um... Okay, Mad Commodore, we'll catch you back here in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I could do some ice cubes. Tactical Pirate, how you doing, man? Uh, where have you been? <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna get hurt here. Oh, um, Tiago, is that a follow on Twitch as well? Thank you, Tiago. Uh, you'll find me doing uh, lots of retro on Twitch, other than the Amstrad as well. God, it takes him so long to fire an arrow. It's, oh. Maybe I could have ducked the arrow. Hey, Tiago, thank you for subscribing. Welcome, my friend, again. And you'll find lots of Amstrad videos on the chat. Oh. You can't duck them. Well, 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 well. Okay, so you can't duck the arrows. What's the point in having a duck command available or control? Don't know then. Oh, 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 oh. He can run and fire arrows though. I'll give him that. Oh! Man, Shovel! Here the five US dollars. Thank you, Man Shovel. This is a game that will improve by being played on a green screen. I tell you what, Man Shovel. Uh, after we after we uh, provision you some bananas, let the bananas rain down for Man Shovel. Um, let's uh, thank thank you again, Man Shovel. We can actually turn to green screen on here. If you want just for you. Let's go green screen. Oh, I can't jump here. Oh, man. I tried to jump out the way. But we're in green screen. Actually, this works quite well in green screen. Rather sadly. 
I don't like how long it takes him to... Oh, look at that! He slides on his knees. Okay, I, I, I'm actually discovering some gameplay mechanics here. Actually, that's a nice touch. And I think this actually this, this game actually appeared on the uh, NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System. My eyes can rest easy. We actually put it in grayscale. Did you know there was a grayscale monitor for the uh, Plus Machines? Actually, that kind of looks better. So there was a mono um, grayscale machine uh, uh, monitor. Sorry for the Plus Machines. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, what's what's your other news, Joe? Anyway, it's nice to see you back here, my friend. How's life treating you, other 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 than your job? Oh, that gate's open now where the ladder was. Right, okay. Uh, and it looks better, it did. Uh, obviously, we've got the extra colours here, but we've got that horrible colour clash on the go, so... Meh. Meh. Oh, I remember this section. This is where it gets actually quite tough. Ooh! I actually love, I, I can have a low key like in the green screen monitor. Oh, we can, sl we slip, we can slide through. I did, but I forgot about that little git there. Oh. <gasps> have, have I, have I soft locked myself? I think I've soft locked myself. I think because I took damage from him whoa that is about as far as I got last time in the game actually there you go Robin Hood legend quest one day I'd like to actually get through that um, I'm gonna see if there's a map for this to see how big it is There is a map. Let's have a look at the map. I got Tortaz over there. Okay. Ooh. Hello guys, sorry for the yawns. Where did we start off? I think we started off. Oh, you can't. Can you see my mouse? Now no, you can. Uh, I think we started off. That's your starting position. So we made it pretty much all the way up. We made it all the way across here, I think. No, we made it to about here. So we did that section. So there's a lot, lot more to the game. Holy crap. Fair play. That's actually a fair amount of bang for your book for budget. But this was a budget game, not a full price game. Would have cost you $2.99. Hmm. Scores out of 10 for a Robin Hood Legend Quest. I think I'll give it a seven and a half. Like, it takes too long to fire your bow. And the arrows from the enemies are coming quite quick at you. Hmm. <laughs> Robin Hood Retro Games Wiz, what's your score? Uh, Joe says, all good mate, busy with the artwork as well. Cool, and you're working on your new pieces. <laughs> Brian, Mrs. Mrs. Zyfe, I hates that song with a passion. So I often troll her with it. What did I do one day? So Mrs. Zyfe hates the Brian Adams song. Everything I do, I do it for you. She claims anyway. Because she's a salty about that Robin Hood movie. She's a big fan of Robin Hood's show and the TV series. And she, she hates the movie with Kevin Costner. What did I do? I think I, uh, I think I would set a phone ringtone to the song. And I think I set her Windows PC startup sound to the song as well. And she had no idea how to change either for a long time. <laughs> I'm an evil git. Uh, five out of ten. We've got a Chris uh, Bourgeois. Oh, man. I'm screwed, Chris. The six. Morda six. Pirate Dad's a six. Jimmy is six. I'm going to look at five. Quite low average scores. 6 out of 10, 8 out of 10 on the Specky. 
Music's kind of cool, but it goes wonky in places. <laughs> hey, Brian Hooper, good night, Brian. Take care, man. Have a lovely weekend, mate. See you again soon, dude. Well, the game over to this is good music. Yeah, it's not bad music. Matt Corbin, hello, my friends. Welcome, dudes. Welcome. All right, okay, we're going to move on from that one because we've uh, I've got games to get through tonight and I'm getting tired. Uh, I've got to level with you guys. I'm, I'm surprised how my energy levels are because you guys know I work a night shift, right? And you probably saw me on Discord about 12-ish talking to people and stuff like that and maybe a bit longer on Twitter. I didn't get to bed till like 1 o'clock and I couldn't get to sleep. I have stayed awake all afternoon. Normally, I get four to six hours sleep before an AM stream. I got zero. I'm going to be really freaking tired. And if anybody remembers last week's AM stream, when it got, was it, about 1 a.m., we'll play that Hammer Fist bloody game. <laughs> Does anyone remember I actually nodded off on stream? Just for a brief second. Just, if you watch the video, I've actually put chapters on last week's video. And you can actually, there's a chapter called Zypho uh, Nods Off. And you can see my eyes sort of going like this. And, and eventually I go, <laughs> and then suddenly wake up. So I, I hope that doesn't happen again tonight. <laughs> um, get yourself to bed, you bad bugger. Nah! You know. I've only been streaming three hours. Nothing. It's nothing. Uh, hopefully I'll give you guys bang for your book anyway. Right, so we've done Wrestling Superstars. We've done Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis for us in Super Cauldron. And Robin Hood Legend Quest leaves us four games tonight. All right, okay. Right, we're going to chill with some racing. And we're going to try and get through uh, Crazy Cars 3. And we are playing a fixed version of the game. So some of you, a lot of you, will probably remember we made Crazy Cars 3 a featured game of the Amstream a few months back. And God did. God, did it take ages to get through. <laughs> That's a WC Le Mans music. Yeah. Titus again. Titus. Hey, Clansman, the 25 Clanny. How you doing, Clanny? Welcome, my friend. Now then, now then, indeed. And all in chat. Oh, I've got to see that. It's only for like a brief second, Joe. <laughs> uh, not much to see. Um, Mad Hammerfist makes me nod off rubbish game. I think the game's got potential. Graphically, it's not very interesting. Well, actually, for, for monochrome graphics, it's good. <laughs> well, the Amster could do a lot better. How's things, Mr. Corbin, anyway? It's a Titus. 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 People pronounce it Titus. I always, I've always pronounced them as Titus. So, this game has got a lot of bugs. If you remember, when we played it through to the end on uh, the Amstream, God knows how many months ago, we didn't get an ending to the game. What happens is, he's supposed to buy, he's supposed to race all the races on a particular division. On here, we can, on the far right there, you can see he says Division 4. Um... Once you completed all the races, you can then go and buy a pass to the next division, like so. If you're allowed to buy a pass, there you go. You get three chances to complete one race, and, and you race against, and basically it's a race against lorries. <laughs> so when you get to division one, you get the you get the option to buy the pass. You do that, and um, nothing happens. You get stuck in the same division forever. Oh, crash there. Which kind of sucks, actually. Uh, so, and there was loads of other little bugs in the game. Like, if you get over $9,999 or was it $99,999 prize money, if you get any more than that, it resets to zero and you've lost it all. It starts over again. <laughs> so that's great. Um, there's loads of other little minor little bugs and things like that. And so on has now produced a fixed version of the game. Which is pretty foggers. So there you go. This is it running at the moment. Oh! Do you know what we need to do? 
I forgot to do. We need to go to the AMS car, don't we? To the AMS car! <laughs> right, we're in the AMS car. <laughs> um, oh, hang on. Why is my uh, game stopped working there? Let's. Uh, we need to turn off the thumbnail. There we go. And, uh, oh, we need some AMS car smoke as well. Right, let's get in the AMS car and we'll just finish this race here. And if you complete this is like this is like a time trial challenge this here when you buy a pass to get to the high division we're going to complete this within the time limit 22 seconds there on the clock left to get to the end to save a bit of time i did a whole chunk of the game earlier today uh and i'll load it from a snapshot because we've got to have several races to do and there you go that would take you that this takes us now into like the third division there you go we're now in division three they basically got to beat we've got to win division one so i'm going to load up a snappy here uh oh my god hang on where's that gone Ah, oh, I'm in the wrong folder. It's okay. It's okay. I, I had a little mild panic there that I'd lost the snapshot I took earlier. And that would have been very bad. What the fart? I've lost the snapshot. Did I save it in the wrong folder? Oh, crap. Hmm. I'm gonna have to search my hard disk. <laughs> oh god. Uh. God, how do you search uh, directories now in Windows? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> A bit different way. Search how it. Okay, one second. Right, let me uh, just find it. Uh, oh, hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, view details. Uh, date modified. Oh, I found it. Hey, I was looking in that folder. What the fuck is going on? Is my heart uh, what is my disc doing? Right, okay, okay. Right, I found the snapshot I was looking for. Oh my god. I was having a little panic attack there. And that was me winning a race in division one at the moment. And we've got to do several races, and we're gonna try and see. What happens now when we beat the game? Because in this fixed version, they've added in the ending sequence from the Amiga version. And I really want to see what it looks like. <laughs> oh, you like that, Mark and uh, Pirate Dance? Thank you. We've got a new transition straight into the AMS car now. None of this bits of the AMS car popping up slowly on the stream anymore. Clanny, how you keeping, mate, as well? <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Uh, lots of love there for Clanny in the chat, I see. The Alan Sugar has changed. He's been like that for a while. He's, he lo he's looking a bit red in the face, but... Um... <laughs> oh, Pirate Daz, good, uh, good night, mate. Um, happy sailing on the high seas, and hopefully we'll catch you soon, dude. Oh, oh yes, there's also a shop in this game as well. Have a, gr uh, have a great weekend, Daz. Should you buy the radar jammer? Oh, there's a speed up which I already bought earlier. So don't worry about that. My radar jammer. Best not. We need as much money as we can get. Right. Um, <laughs> Andy Monkey says crazy saves. Yeah. So basically, I think we've got to race each track twice or three times. Oh god, this might take a while. I'm gonna race this one. Hopefully, it won't take much longer to do. Much, much better. Nice. Good to hear, Clanny. Good to hear, dude. 
But thankfully, we've got infinite turbos. Oh, the police are out to catch us. Um, quite dodgy collision detection this game. Um, I, I would say this game feels rather unfinished and rushed, especially with all the bugs. Uh, that's a bit unlucky having three cars in the way there. Yikes. There you go. That red arrow above the car means uh, we're targeted by the police currently. Arse. Sorry. Uh, good night, Pirate Daz. Happy sailing on the high seals, dude. High seas, sorry. <laughs> oh, police are coming in. You'll never take me alive, copper. Especially when I've got turbo boost. Which does sound like a bit like a Dyson going mental. Is it Zypher or the Lotus that's smoking? It's the tyres from the AMS car. Ah, <laughs> look at that collision detection of the objects at the side of the road there. A bit dodgy. We've got infinite uh, boosts, by the way. Oops, I was looking at the chat there. Uh, Zypho Spark car runs on methane gas. What? Obviously from only the finest sanitary sewers of England. I thought you were going to say from my arse. <laughs> and again, Mrs. Zypho's arse can power it as well. But this is like an early need for speed. Yes, that's right, Anna. So, when we get into another race, it didn't happen there, but you're, you can actually race against competitors and uh, knock them off the road and all that kind of stuff. Uh, doing that tends to harm your car quite a lot. There's a damage meter, but we've got the, we've got cheats on at the moment. Part power activate. Part power activate. Sounds like a Robin Reliant trying to get up a gentle slope. <laughs> and there's the end of the race. Right. It looks like Zypho's having a bong session. His Lotus very mildly fights. Um, good job you didn't see what the smoke looked like before. Before the smoke looked all sort of green coloured. Looks even more dodgy. Right, I'm now in the lead on the uh, leaderboards there of the other races. Oh, God, have we got to do o Omaha again? Let's do Salem for the Salem Witchens. Like a snappy here. Uh, we've got two races against us. Cool. And there's no police. And if they want to, you might be able to bet on the race. Oh, we're betting. Oh my god, the pets, the uh, the pot's massive. The only thing, it takes ages for you to increase your bets. You have to press the fire button at this pace. Any quicker and it won't register it and, and it locks up. See? Great programming. It looks like this section's been done in basic or something. Especially, it uses the default Amstrad font and stuff here. Um, Mad Commodore is off uh, of the car effects. Uh, I didn't realise this for ages. Off the car effects. I didn't realise this for ages. Oh, did you not realise that I had the smoke? Oh, all right. We've raised enough there. Bet. Now stand. He's. Oh God, he's raised and matched. Uh, we'll bet a little bit more then. Got to eight thousand. Is the outside getting smaller? Or are you getting bigger? Well, people moaned that they couldn't see me um, anymore uh, when I was in the AMS car. So I made myself a bit bigger in there. The AMS car's still the same size. Or are you saying I'm getting fat? <laughs> Why am I racing Tina Turner and Uncle Festa? That is true. Oh my God, the matching. Oh God, bet more, bet more then. All right, we'll put in 10, 10 grand in this one. Holy poopy's doing it, but he got it by $700. That's a bit measly. All right. $11,000. Oh, God. We want to beat him. I 
keeps going up and up. I'll stand. I'll match. Well, wow, they're really confident they'll win. But she doesn't really matter. I just got to get through the races. Come on, let's just. I'll stand. I'll stand. Let's go. We better not uh, screw this one up. Oh no. Oh no. Can't get out from this bloody bend around any of the cars. Oh no! Let's use a turbo boost. Oh, I'm in first now. I think the sound effects of the turbo boost went a bit wonky there. There he is. I'm back in the lead, but I crashed. Turbo boosted again. Oh, I've been pushovers this time. Oh no! Oh, Zai, don't lose this one. Not after all the money you just bet. I'll take a snappy there just in case. I'm getting worried. <laughs> Screw it. Let's keep turbo boosting. Arse. I think he just went into the back of me there, the second place guy. Oh! Oops, long empty road here. I like that. I like that. Bit of a bit, bit of a. Oh, there's a few S bends. Oh! Screw it. Use the turbos to get out of here. There we go. We are in. Oh. Uh, Clanny says, have you played that prehistoric game yet, Zypher? I know you like to spend a few hours on that one. <laughs> I'm leaving that one to the end, Clanny. So, because we've um, uh, played too much of that on the AM streams over time. But it's a nice treat to end with, though, as well. And I can play as little or as long as I want, depending on how late and how tired I am. But good question. Yeah. I give the top tip there from Johnny Boy, which is don't cla don't crash. Um, good lord, you your bet won thirty six thousand dollars. Lovely. I'm in. I'm now in first place in the leaderboards. This is Chase XQ mixed of Turbo Outrun. Yeah, it's kind of called on the Amiga though. It's it's much better presented. Much better. Dallas. What are we doing on Dallas then? Oh god. Oh my god, like all the tough racers are in there. The top guy, the, the guy there, the cap and the well the hat and the cigar. I think he's supposed to be the toughest character. Oh god, we're on ten thousand and it takes ages to put your bet in. Actually I don't care. I don't care about the money. Clanny, you like prehistoric too? Nice. But yeah, actually, don't know. You should see this on the Amiga. It's a much better game. Um, and much better presented. I mean, this interface here is garbage. Oh, I'm done. I'm done with that. Come on, let's just race. Let's go. And I'm in the lead already. Oh! How did I get through those cars there? 
I think the collision detection is a bit sus, guys. Was that there? That was a nasty crash. But we're through. I need the turbo again. <laughs> Ow! through the race. Still waiting for a CGI Elvis movie. The impossible for two decades probably if you push the tech. All the right uh all copyright bull crap preventing it. I don't know. I'm not, I don't I don't know if I'd want to see a CGI Elvis. It's like mm. uh, jo John Carpenter did a made for TV movie about Elvis starring Kurt Russell in like the late seventies. That was very good. Crazy Cars one was the best because it had no traffic. <laughs> Or oh, very little traffic, wasn't it, Claddy? Yeah. That was definitely a more easier going. The most easy, easiest going racing game I've ever played. Ooh, excuse me. Right, okay. That's the race done. I won 20... Alright, okay. $25,000. Hey, good night, Mr. Jez Jukes. Good night, dude. Take care, man, and have a great weekend. Oh, God, how many of these do I have to do? I have to do these three times. Let's just not, let's not get bothered in bothered in, vet, uh, in bets. Oh. oh, night racing. Interesting. Okay. Crazy Cars 3 is going to take a long time. I might... I don't know if I will... Take another save and come back to it later in the stream. Just for the sake of variety tonight. I don't know. I don't know how many races I'm supposed to do before I'm allowed to buy a pass. Uh, to get to the final level and complete the game. That was quite a short race. Cool. Um, let's try and buy a pass now. See if we can get to the end of the game. See what it does. No, it just takes us back. So, um... Right, let's try Atlanta. Nice contrast of colours and verge. <laughs> None of my rivals in this race, but just none of the usual rivals. Oh, a bit of graphical uh, disruption there. Oh dear. And I've just overtaken the first base car. Nice. Hoggers. Ow! And there was no betting on this race, this one. Never mind. Oh, look at chat there, and I got crashed. Um, I'll say the road engine kind of looks and moves okay. It's got the dips and hills and bends. The scenery in the background ahead obviously moves and spins at the right, uh, just the right amount. The mountainside in front of us. They've done that very well. The collision detection is god awful. Uh, as is the handling of the car, it's such a weird way to handle a car in a game. It's 
I can't describe it, you have to play it for yourself. To understand how the positioning in the road works and it's so odd. Hey Shadow Force, good evening, welcome to the stream my friend, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. And Stephanie as well. Uh, Oh, did you do the fixed version of this? Is this your is this your work, Stephanie? Or well, Stefan, sorry, Stefan. Um Wow, if this is oh, we got, if we've got a coder in the in the stream, that's cool. You like the animation of the car. Uh, it's got, I think it's like two frames of animation and they flip it from side to side probably, outrun style. Yeah, the car sprites are right. I don't mind the graphics and stuff. I just wish the handling, like, felt different and stuff. It's, uh Have you played race driving? I've played it in the arcade. Race driving didn't make it to the amateur, but hard driving did. There we go. Right, uh, the Stefan, if this is your, Ste or Stephanie, I don't know how you pronounce your name, is it, if this is your version, uh, what do I need to do to get a pass here? I'm in Division 1, and he keeps coming back, uh, it is your version, oh right, that's TCC, oh that's amazing, awesome! Thank you so much for doing this. I had no idea. I, I don't think anyone uh, uh, here did uh, that you did this version. Um, did you post on the CPC wiki forums about this and stuff? Oh, so you're TCC. Fantastic. I'm looking forward to seeing what the... Um... Uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing the, en the ending sequence on this. That's why we're just trying to get through the game quickly here. Uh, if you could, if you, if you're looking at games to fix, if you could fix the horrendously broken and buggy combat school from Ocean and Imagine Software, I'd, I'd be very, very greatly appreciate that. Uh, I'll, I'll know it's no PS5, but all right for the CPC. Yeah. Oh my god, this night mission has loads of cops. And the collision detection is amazing. Back in first. Are you still at the same pub, Joe, by the way, in Nottingham? I might be able to come and visit soon. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Remember, no, I have had no sleep today. <laughs> but that's a nice short race. Or a fix for Airwolf. Oh, God. Yeah, fix Airwolf, Stefan, next. <laughs> if you can. Hey, Andrea. Good evening, Andrea. Uh, it says, hope you and the family are well. How was your mum-in-law? Just a quick late night. Hello. Only had my CPC until 1992. Turbo Tortoise was the last game I bought for it. What did you do after 92, Andrea? Uh, did you get yourself a Mega Drive or something like that? Turbo the Tortoise was a great game. A great little game, though. Right. Um, how many more of these? Do we have to do these three times might take a while actually guys uh, I've underestimated how long this might take as well right, Indiana Jones the bloody fate of bloody Atlantis alright we'll turbo boost the way through it no illegal betting on this race this time Moved on for CBC Forces for December the 25th, 1992. Was that when Father Christmas brought you an Amiga, Clanny? Uh, 
Um, but as okay as this looks, um, it's not a great fitting swan song for the CPC, this game. Oh, right. I think I need to go and stretch my legs in a minute and get some fresh air and have a little break for two minutes or so. Because uh, I feel I can feel the waves of tiredness coming on. Oh, you did some fix for Airwolf. Did you fix the ending of the game? Is it completable? Yes, Cypher, with everyone's favourite Days of Thunder. Oh, the, oh, that was a packing title with your Amiga, was it? Days of Thunder. Weird game to package with it, in a way. Okay. I've yawned quite a bit now. I think the, the absolute lack of sleep today is now finally catching up with me. Hmm. But Stefan, he's done some great work here. I've seen a lot of bugs already fixed. Nice to have a cheat mode as well. I think the second place car is right behind me, pushing into the back of me. But hey, there we go. Well, we're in. Timer fix. Uh, oh, nice. Good. And had a finished game part. Really? Uh, is this on um, uh, CPC Power yet? So I'm looking under your TCC name on CPC Power, but Airwolf is not there at the moment. Ugh. Excuse me. Oh, God. If this has been fixed, oh, God, that means I might have to do another bloody stream of Airwolf. Uh... Oh, I don't see your um, uh, version on uh, CPT Power yet, so maybe you're not finished it yet. He said, give an advice about driving when tired. I know. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, setting a bad example. Right, so how many more races have we got to do here? Uh, it's when they're all blue, I think. So these have all been these are gonna be raced twice and that one more time. Oh god. Alright, let's do Salem and then I might take a little break just to stretch me. I make P on Twitter or Facebook for directions of post go been in our usual drinking hole recently. They can't wait uh, they can't wait to get back to normal. I know, me too man. Uh I would like to have a good music for the gritting part. So what was wrong with the original uh, Outrun game where it, it doesn't end properly? What is, is it just is it just literally missing code and they never finished it? On Airwolf, Stefan. That's if you design just play the title sequence to side up so it'll wake you up. Yeah, the was well, the flashing lights and stuff. That actually might set up a migraine on me. <laughs> And uh, it might, anybody who's epileptic, that might set them off as well. <laughs> That's actually no laughing, no laughing matter. Whilst Mrs. Zypho is, was, uh, is, is uh, very, uh, very much epileptic. I think I'm talking gibberish now in my tiredness. I'm in second place actually, I've got to catch up. Where's that first place car? Sometimes it's really hard to catch him. Okay, come on. You can't let him win this race. 
No, yeah, how far ahead of it? Ahead of me is he? I think this might be a bug. I'm just turboing like mad at the moment. Where's the first place car? I'm in second. Surely that's a bug. Um, I'm gonna just keep using boosts. I've got infinite boosts on at the moment. So I'm, at the moment, our Airwolf, you've got a generic congratulations message. Well, it's better than nothing. And I, somehow, I only finished second there after use, or well, about to finish second after using about six <laughs> turbo boosts. You normally only get five per game. A mystery person came first. What? Okay, whatever. Whatevs. Also, an A-Tring Zypho, once you hit 40, it's mandatory to do that side thing when you sit down and get up. <laughs> that is true. Oh, God. So, I'm going to play Salem one more time, Pecos one more time, Dallas twice, and Atlanta twice at six more races. Right. Oh, God. Right. I'm going to take a little break. Um... You're hoping Psycho Pigs was 1993, but I don't think it was. No, it was actually late 80s, 88, I think. I might be wrong on that. Uh, actually, no, maybe a little bit later in the day. I want to get some more apple juice, guys. That's, I think a bit more sugary drink will keep me awake. Now, we'll go on as long as I can for you guys tonight. Uh, we still have... And let's have a look. Uh, we still have, uh, oh god, three more games actually. Two of them I'm only going to play fairly quickly because there's not much to them. Uh, and what, well, one of them we've seen a lot of and won't be much after we've played this either. Um, uh, <laughs> Psycho Pigs is awesome though, it's one of my favourite. Right, uh, I'm going to take a very, very short break guys. I'll be like one to two minutes. I'm just going to get some drink from the fridge, just give my legs a stretch outside and uh, just do some jumping up and down, get pumped up. And uh, I'll be back with you in one to two minutes. And again, uh, I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to read this out again. Um, oh, actually, hang on. Let me just read that from uh, Stefan. Yes, I was missing code for the end when you shoot the last pilot, the game free the froze. Yeah, I know. I've I've done it. I've beaten the game on stream before, uh, Stefan Airwolf, and we've seen that happen. I was just curious. Was there literally like no other code uh, in in there for like an ending sequence? Was it deliberately broken and unfinished because they couldn't be bothered to finish the game, or is the code there that is supposed to work but doesn't? That's that's what I'm trying to get at. I guess. Uh, but hey, if you fixed it, that's amazing. Or added your own in. That's really, really cool. Um, so, I'm going to ask the same question I asked earlier. I only got a chance to read out a few answers, but we have had some more people join, like Clanny and stuff. So, the question is, what were you doing in 1993? Did you still have an Amstrad? Were you still looking for and uh, buying and playing Amstrad games, using the Amstrad for... But uh, home, homework at home like I did still. Um, we're using the Amstrad for business purposes. That's a bit out there, I suppose. Um, and if not, what had you moved on to in 1993? So for, um, so, uh, for people like Clanny joining in, you must not drink when driving. Don't worry, it's just fresher apple juice. No alcohol content in there. God damn it, I'd like some though. Tempted actually. Right, I, uh, guys and girls, I'll be back in like one to two minutes and you tell me uh, if you haven't already in the chat uh, what your history was in 1993. Alright, I'll be right back.
All right, guys and girls, I'm back. I've got some more Colston's Press Apple on the go. I wish it was like a vodka and Red Bull. <laughs> anyway, what's the chat saying? In night three, says Simi, I was still playing. Um, hang on, what was that? Still playing with my Master System. Good man. That's a, that's a heck of an underrated system, the Master System. As Anna says there, the Master System was cool. Uh, Clanny was forced to sell his 464 on green screen in 93. Why were you forced? Was it like, um, uh, was it a thing? Was it a family thing? Like your brothers and sisters y used it and they all wanted a Mega Drive or SNES or something like that and you all had to agree to it or something. Well, Mega Drive said something yeah, when I started working and had money. Fair enough though. Both though. Very, very fancy Clanny. Um,. Had a lot of stuff in 93, says Mad Commodore. Still had a VCS, C64, Atari 520, an Amiga 1000, 2000, and a 1200. 4x6 uh, PC Mega Drive SNES PC Engine. Blimey, Mad Commodore, how did you afford all that, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, or are you a little older than perhaps my, like myself and had a job? <laughs> PlayStations and N64s. In 93, man, shovel. That's a bit early, isn't it? Unless you unless you replied to someone else, sorry. <laughs> um Hey Jimmy says, I'm uh, gonna call it a night now. Good to see you. Well, hope you have a great weekend, iPhone. Have a great stream. Thanks so much. Take care, mate. Catch up uh, soon. Top man too. Thank you, mate. Thank you, Jimmy. You're a top man as always too, Jimmy. Lots of love to you too, mate. And uh, you take care, man. Have a great weekend, you and Janie. Um, Adam, great. Genuinely creeped out by some of these noises. Uh, what noises are you referring to, Joe? What has Anna said? Uh, I think I missed it way up in the chat. No idea, mate, as my parents are millionaires. Really? What's this, Claddy? <laughs> so, I started working when the original 520ST came out. So, you were 16-ish in 1985. Bloody hell. Uh, I was born in 81. And I'm 40. Uh, oh, I guess so. Are you about 53-ish? 54? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Man Shovel. I said I was playing uh, NES and PC 93. Didn't get the other contemporary stuff until the following years. Yeah. PC 93? Oh, of course, PCs. PCs were quite big in America, weren't they, in the early 90s? Well, they they didn't catch on here at all. Apart from the Amstrad PCW and stuff. Right, I thought so, Mad Commodore. Just a few years over mid-century, maybe? I don't know. Uh, you're on the pretend wine, Rosie. Oh, I don't mind a bit of rose. A bit of rosé of Christmas dinner goes beautifully, I find. I don't know about anyone else. I always have a, my yearly bottle of rosé with a Christmas dinner. Joe, you were born in 81 too. All the cool kids were. Nice. Um, the Simmy got the decks out. Bet your neighbours love you, Simmy, don't they? <laughs> Take care, GB. Good night, my friends. Have a great weekend. Why am I betting? I don't care. I've got like tons of cash. Let's go. Wine is nasty stuff. I used to think that too, Johnny. And then, um, uh, an old girlfriend. Oh, oh, uh, sorry, hang on. Took me on holiday with her and her family to Italy. It's like the wine. Uh, we stayed in like near the wine region and all the. Ah! Oh my god! Look at this bull crap.
Well, I'm in fourth now. Third, second. Where's first place? There he is. What is this noise the the turbo's making? It's a lot easier to crash with the turbo going, so uh Ah Look at that collision detection! This game is something else actually. Definitely a rush job. Definitely unfinished. Also, um, Titus had so little faith in the Amstrad scene by 1993. They didn't even bother to put any uh, copy protection on the uh, disc and cassettes, apparently. Certainly on the discs. And they were super easy to copy. That's why Amstrad Action were actually quite uh, uh, were able to hack it so easily to put on their cover tape. With um, Titus's permission, of course, as well. Oh, I forgot! We're not in the AMS car anymore, are we? Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Alright, to the AMS car! <laughs> there we go. Alright, oh, that, that actually cocked up a bit. I realise my transition doesn't work if I've got the AMS car smoke on. If we go back... That works. To the AMS car! <laughs> now it works! Without glitching and stuttering. But if I turn the smoke on from the AMS car, uh, the uh, the AMS fart, <laughs> it works. Anyway. Hey! Haze Maker! Good evening! Oh my god, we've got a Commodore 64 legend in the chat here. How you doing, Haze? Yeah, the sounds on this are bloody horrible. Sorry, Hayes. Um, we all know the SID is better than the AY chip, but I can't make any arguments for the uh, AY chip here. That's pretty dreadful. Oh, we're near the end of the race. Cool. And Mr. Matt Myers, how are you doing, sir? Good to see you, mate. Um, you love the Batman homage. <laughs> the Sugar Man. Um, so, uh, we're currently playing Crazy Cars 3. And Crazy Cars 3, I think someone's asking, uh, what platform do you think has the best version of this? Uh, actually, I don't... This definitely didn't come on the ZX Spectrum. Uh, I think this was like an... An exclusive to um, the Amstrad for an 8-bit system. Let me have a check, actually. So on Moby Games, uh, it's got for Amiga, Amiga CD32, Atari ST. Apparently, it did come on the Commodore 64. Oh, okay, so it's not ex exclusive. Uh, PC DOS, Game Boy, and SNES. So, Commodore 64 version. Let's have a look at the screenshots. Hey, so have you ever played this on the Commodore 64, Crazy Cars 3? Whoa, that road looks like really tiny. And... Wow, that looks really tight. I thought um, the Amstrad version looks a bit tight there. Uh, graphically, I like the city skyline there. That's nice. Uh, but the in-game road graphics, not so much. Uh, maybe it plays a lot smoother. Maybe there's better sound and music. I didn't know this came on the Commodore 64. Oh, this is... Oh, this got renamed. This is probably released in the US. On the Commodore 64, as Lamborghini American Challenge. So this game went under two names. Um, yeah, I don't know which versions was Lamborghini. Definitely the Game Boy was Lamborghini American Challenge. I 
think I briefly played this. And you can see it shares a lot of graphics and art with the Amstrad version. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if it's the same programmer. Uh, Charles Gro... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Goodwin. Crazy Cars 2 does look really, really good. It just gets really boring after all, like the first game. Um, and actually a bit more frustrating than the first game. So I have no idea which is the best version. I'm going to guess the Amiga had the best version, followed by SNES. SNES is American Lamborghini Challenge. Oh, I think the SNES had the best version. Uh, I, think the, I think the SNES had the best version. That was quite rocking. Anyway. At Retro on Limb, welcome back, dude. Welcome back. Um, Hayes, I'm interested to know if you've ever played Lamborghini Challenge on the Commodore 64. Mm. Hello again, Matt Myers. Oh, you got Galactic Tomb. That's awesome. I think they've made some more copies, and I want to get a copy too. Uh, Retro on Limb, you have missed. Um, oh, God. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. God. That just made this everyone just fall asleep and drag. I just, I had to, I had to stop the game on the first level. We hadn't even got through half the first level. And things were going wrong and it was just annoying. Um, you've missed Wrestling Superstars. Um, Super Cauldron. Robin Hood Legend Quest and now on Crazy Cars 3. We're hopefully about to finish it actually. Um, let's go back to the Ams car. <laughs> And we won that race. Nice. So if you've seen that uh, Steam is releasing um, their own handheld console called the Steam Deck. Yes, I have. It, it, it's, it's like a mini PC in a handheld. I don't know if it will catch on. There's many attempts been made to do similar stuff in the past. Not so much success. Can we buy a pass yet? Oh, please. Please. No. Got to finish some races then. Right, let's do Dallas. Um, it's quite expensive. I, um, I, I don't know if a lot of games, uh, companies make PC games will consider how it's going to look on a smaller shrunken screen like that. So, I don't know. I don't know. Let's race this one. Um, it's a lot of money. I think you've got to spend a bit of extra money to get that better storage as well, like $500 plus. I don't know. I think you could get just a better PC. FC Denhar, good night, dude. Thank you, mate. Oh, you're going to move tomorrow. Okay, so that's what I can do. Good luck with the house move, FC Denhar. It's one of the most stressful things in the world to do. I hope it goes well. All right, that will do. Let's go. You've not played it yet. I found a Commodore 64 game, that, a big game that you've not played, Hayes. Well, next time you're streaming, there you go. You've got a, you've got an idea of something to check out. Check out for coppers there. Nice use of the Doppler effects there on the on the uh, police siren. You lost down the sound effects. That collision detection. <laughs> this game is the very definition of unfinished and rushed. Let's use a turbo, screw it. Oh, have I missed Simon in the chat? Oh, hang on. Oh my god, Siren, have you pre-ordered one? Oh, oh, Simon, you and your toys and your money. <laughs> well, I hope it is like a really awesome thing, dude. And I hope it gives you a lot of fun when eventually it does get released. Actually, I have to say, this game is pretty easy. I know we've got cheats on, and we're not taking any damage. And we could use infinite turbos. But without turbos, I reckon we can do this. 
Right. We're going to get all the races to turn blue, which is like three races of each. Oh, so... We'll just do this one again quickly. Good night, FC Denhard. Good luck on the move. And, uh, hey, Super Jim Tendo. Welcome to the stream as well. Welcome, welcome. Uh, is this your first time here on the Am stream? If so, do let us know and we'll give you a nice big welcome and hello. Um, an extra special one. Welcome, my friends. I hope you have a nice time here. We should be streaming for another hour, hopefully, if I can keep my eyes open. Simon as well. Good evening, mate. Good evening. Yeah, the power to even run Switch emulators decently. I will say I'm glad that the Switch, um, the new, uh, sorry, not Switch, sorry, um, the new uh, Steam um, deck, where it's called, um, is built based on, uh, I think it's a Linux Arch. It's based on Linux anyway. And they'll allow you to install whatever you want in there and it won't be locked down. So you can even install Windows on it and stuff like that. Yeah. Hey, Retro and Lynn, could you get us any um, uh, free tickets or guest, or guest entries at all for Blackpool? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more. Right, uh, let's get this race done. Let's get this over and done with. I want to see the end of this freaking game. So we can move on to like something cool like Prehistoric 2. And I'm in the lead already. Screw it, I'm using a turbo to make sure. Oh! Ow! Okay. Using the brakes there to get around the car. That worked quite well. Am I going to turbo out? Oh, God. That would have normally caused massive damage, but we've got infinite damage on. Hey Simon, you don't ask, you don't get. That's my that's my motto. Or uh, in the words of Del Boy, he who dares, he who dares, my son. What is going on with the sound effects there? I'm also getting attacked by moths in my, in my office at the moment. Little buggers are dive bombing me. But it seems like it anyway. Screw it, turbo it, let's get this over and done with. Hopefully without crashing. <laughs> Awful collision detection there. This had better be a ridiculously good ending. I'm told it's got the Amiga ending. So I hope that's a good thing. No sod off. Well, how rude, how rude. Uh, which I'm going to use at the moment. Uh, I'm on WinApe. Um, I have been switching over to CPCEC. But the main reason I haven't is I don't use it for recording because I don't like the video format um, it outputs. Um, it's some bizarre middle format that's under that's quite new. It doesn't work well in any of my editors. And also you can't record um, uh, sessions in uh, CPCEC, um, which is a shame. Um, so because the sound bug is not normal. So I'm on the very latest version of WinApe, which is now like many years old, uh, Stefan. Rise you of those day 10 USA arcades now. What's that? This game. <laughs> My cat's going nuts chasing the moths as they get into the house. <laughs> oh, bless them. Oh. Bless them. I used to, uh, when I was a little boy... I used to have this little metal tin and I used to catch moths in this little uh, tin for my uh, cat. 
and I'd have like 20 of the buggers in this tin going bananas. And the cat was going bananas because she knew I had the tin, the tin of moths for her. And uh, I would unleash all the moths at the top of the stairs outside my parents' bedroom for the cat to go absolutely balmy at. And she, well, she loved it. And then she was crunching these moths in her mouth. And obviously there's just devastation and chaos everywhere. Moths, moths absolutely everywhere upstairs. My parents going mental. Oh God, the police have been, wow. The police are actually been a bit effective there. Oh, we got to the end of the race anyway, cool. I try it and I haven't sound bug on win eight. I don't know then. I'm not doing anything different. Sod off retro on lib. Uh, have you played Crystal Kingdom on Ant Stream? Nice. I've been meaning to do a long play video of that, Clanny. Uh, shame the Amstrad version is not there. Can we buy a race? Pa can we buy a pass yet? No. Right, we've got one more race track to complete. It's got to turn blue. Uh, no police, but we've got two ladies racing against us. $200. There you go. I don't give a crap. Let's go! Oh. 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 I do like the idea you get to see who you're racing against and you get their characters, character, characters. Actually, I, I can't even pronounce it right. At the top left of the screen, anyway. That is a nice touch. Ha! Oh, did you see how I just went through that car? Amazing collision detection on this. Oh, look at that as well. The collision detection is amazing. Stefan, can you fix the collision detection? In fact, why don't you just rewrite the whole freaking game? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, well, at least we hit something at the side of the road there. We're nearly done with this one now, guys. Thank God. Finish line is in sight. I don't know what is up with the sound effects there. One like pedestrian car that ki uh, that's going right really quickly. Quite bizarre. I think we've overtaken him now, anyway. Got oh, that noise. Ow. Oh, mega version of Crystal Kingdom, did he? I've never checked that out. <laughs> uh, right. I gave this game 98% in issue 805. <laughs> what a whopper, Clanny. That's a whopper and a half. And this is crazy cars. I haven't seen this. I haven't seen that glitch before. What glitch was that, Stefan? What the um, the collision detection? God, that's always been in there. 
in Crazy Cars 3. Hello? Why is it not moving down? Oh, okay. We've got to do this race one more time. One more time. And we can move on to the final race, I think. Or the ending. There you go. I'll bet $300. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh, I'm in second. Ha! Ah! Oh. I shouldn't worry. It's a long race track. This one. There's a long bend here, though. Oh my god. No! Oh, that's unlucky. I mean, once you're stuck in that... Oi, oi, oi! Do you know what? We might end up second. Oh, my God! We might end up second now. Still a long way to go. Look at that collision detection there. <laughs> More great collision detection there. Oh, he finally registered a hit there. About a minute after I passed the car. <laughs> oh my god, where is this first place car? There she is! Oh no! See ya! <laughs> well, I eventually won it then. Hey, Mr. Aaron Phillips. Good evening, dude. Good evening, or like, good morning. Yes. Back from the pub, Aaron. How you doing, man? We won. I think we can now buy a ticket to the final. Or um, does it take us straight to the ending sequence? There was bartering and such. Stuff. Excellent. Let's see. I'm going to pause the music there. Because now that should be all the races done. Fingers crossed this should be the end. I hope this is worth it. Oh? Huh? No. Hang on. Stefan, why can't I, why can't I get the ending, Stefan? I can't race any more races. No, but I should be able to buy a pass, right? What? Do I have to buy something from the shop? We'll buy a radar jammer. Uh, I don't think that's it. Um, what's going on, Stefan? What do, what do I have to do to get to the final race? Or see the ending? Um, uh, Aaron, uh, this is the fixed version. Uh, with... See, that, that, that all the races are done. They're all in blue. 
God damn, have I done all this and I can't see the freaking ending? I don't know, I don't know if Stefan's still here or not. Uh take a I'm gonna take a snapshot there. Uh, what's quit do? Did you make all the race? Yeah, look! Uh, Stefan. I'm gonna come out the AMS car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, they're all in blue. I can't, I can't, um... I can't... I'm hitting the fire button there to choose it. Uh, all the races are in blue. Which means they've been done. And we, and we, uh, won all the races. Won all of them. So, wh what do I go now? I go, I go to pass. Uh, what does quit do? That takes us back to Division Four. I'll reload where we got to. We need to say, sort of flip the disc over. I'll try. Oh no, I think there's only one disc for this version. It's all on one disc, I think. All blue on the division. Yeah, 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 look. All blue. I can't, I can't choose any others. Uh, and there is only what. There's not two sides of this disc, is there? I'll just check on the website quickly. There seems to be some kind of glitch here. Yeah. Shame. I can see. I can see the screenshots of the ending, and I already, I really want to see them. Uh, any suggestions, Stefan? I see at the start you take the pass on the first division. What, what, uh, what does that mean? Oh! Oh, Matt Corbin! Thank you for the five dollars there, Matt! Wow, thank you, dude. <laughs> I just He says, I just wanted to send a little appreciation of the stream. Keeps me safe over here in the US. Oh, bless you, mate. Thank you, Mr. Matt Corbin. Let the bananas rain down for Matt, as always. Get your bananas out. <laughs> there we go. You must take pass after you make all races in each division. I have done. I've just done the race. All the races are done there. And division one. Pass. Price to load. And just comes back here. What, what do I do, Stefan? Um... I, I I don't know. I think you might, I don't, if it can't be done, there's nothing more. If there's nothing I can do, then I don't know. I think you I think you've got some more bugs to fix. Is there any way I can uh, do something to see the um, ending? You bypass the first division. I I I'm in the first division. I've just done all the races in the first division. You have bypassed the first division by take the pass. Uh, th th these are the first division races, right? Seattle, Omaha, Salem, Dallas, Pecos, and Atlanta. I don't know, Maud. Uh, 
So, um, I, I just sad that I just wanted. I, I, we we spent all this time and we wanted to show the end of the game to people, and they've had to sit through some boring, crazy cars free gameplay for a while. But um, okay, that's uh, uh, that's a shame. I, I I don't know what else to do. Uh, we're in the first division. We did all the races. Now we go to buy the pass, and and nothing happens. Aaron, we tried that. <laughs> we just done that about ten times. There you go. I've got to bypass and. Uh, um. I uh, oh actually save, save no because uh, he can't do a save state retro on him because he's got to sit there and go through all the races to get there. So um, I'm just wondering if there's a way I can load up the um, ending sequence uh, somehow. Right. Is it on the disc of the cat? Oh no, it's not. It's protected in a, in a bin file. So I don't know then. I can show you the screenshots, guys. Um. Hang on then. Uh. I'll show you the screenshots on the website. It's like um. The right. So there you go. The first. You get that. I don't know if there's any animation or if there's any music at all. Um, I don't know. But this is the ending from the Amiga version. And then buy a few little luxuries. So it says, Congratulations, Nova Driver has shown more courage and skill. The grand prize for completing uh, the Saturday night race is $10 million cash. Yikes, that's quite a prize. After the excitement and thrills of the Saturday night races, take a moment to bask in your glory. And then buy a few little luxuries. There you go. So uh, that was part that was part of the ending sequence that we didn't get to see. But you seen screenshots of it. Uh, sorry about that, guys. It's the best I could do. So uh, unless uh, Stefan can come up with a solution. I've got the save state there ready if uh, you can think of anything. But... Um, Ten million dollars. That's right, uh, Mr. Malamut there, Barry Roadwold. Hey, Malamut. Good to see you, Malamut. All right, okay. Um, we'll see if Stefan can come up with anything. Uh, I'll I'll be here for a little bit longer anyway. So we're gonna have a look now. Oh God, we've still got like three bloody games to go. Right, let's have a look at Bullies Sporting Darts. This is a budget game release from Alternative Software. And of course, 1993. No worries, Aaron. In enjoy the drink. Um, and you, I, um, you can play football, golf, cricket, and snooker with darts. There's no music here at all. Um, cricket, snooker. We try football. I've got to try football darts. I don't know what this will be like. Bully sp supporting farts. <laughs> Bit match duration. Uh, I don't know. Five minutes. Input team name one. Amstream. One player. Input. Name a player one. Okay. That'd be me. Input team two. Uh, computer one. Oh, for computer player type, type comp. Uh, I don't know. Give him level two. And. Alright, oh, okay. Here we go. Get ready. Oh, this is me. Presumably, I've got to hit double 20 or treble 20. Oh, oh, is it giving me it? I, th I don't know. Nice. Oh, I've got the knack of this. I think. Okay. Enough of this game for two in a bed. You get your BFA charm. Where's um, uh, Mikey Smith when we need him? 
<laughs> of his bloody obsession. That's right, Andy. Yeah, um, them and um, Kobasis, or fair play to both of them. Sticking around to 1993 for the Amstrad. Oh, you got a triple there. I, I, I don't know what this is going. I, I suppose half the dartboard is supposed to represent what? A goal? A goal mouth? On a pitch? <gasps> oh! Oh, I had it there. Amstream has scored! We've scored a goal! Right, so we've got to get two and then the bullseye. Right, okay, cool. But this is computer. Uh, at the start of the game, at Division 4, you have take the pass and you'll be at Div Division 3 after. Yep. What make a division four race? Uh, obviously, I know. Uh, I I apologise because I don't speak a word of French, and your English is very good, Stefan. Uh, I find still a little struggling a little bit on that to, to get what you mean. Are you trying to say that like I you have to? Hang on. Oh, you have to do all the races in all the divisions because I'm pretty sure I could buy a pass in divisions um, four, three, and two whenever I wanted and skip up a division each time. If so, that shouldn't be allowed to happen if you have to do all the races Actually, no, because in the first... No, that doesn't make sense. Because what, what you're doing in the earlier divisions, when you don't have cheats on, is saving, get, is saving up enough money, like $50,000, to buy the pass. When you've got enough money, you don't have to do every single race three times over. When you've got enough money, you buy the pass uh, from winnings on the races. And then you move up to the next division if you get through the challenge. So with the book, with the uh, Stefan, with the cheat mode on, which gives you nine hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars, I could buy one pass after another to get me to division one. And in division one, yeah, we did do every single race three times over, and they all turned blue. But then now we can't buy a pass. It doesn't make sense why right, that. Why it's not working. No, that's not correct, Aaron. Because you don't have to. Even even the non-fixed original version, as I was just saying, you're doing the races for as long as you can till you make $50,000 to buy the pass. And then you can jump up to the division. Yeah, I, I know, Stefan. But like when I was pl when I played it before years ago, you just play until you get enough money earned up. You've bought all your upgrades in the shop, and you've repaired the car, and you got like fifty thousand dollars plus in the in your bank account. Go and buy the pass, or was it twenty five thousand? I can't remember. And then do the race to get to the next division. The game didn't force you originally. Uh, on all, all as it was when I was playing your fixed version to do every single race three times over otherwise you'd be there for like like 10 hours so I don't know that's not right that should be happening I think I think there's a bug Best debate ever. <laughs> it, re it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. I'm very thankful for all the work Stefan has done. He's done. A, he's done a. Re oh God. He's done a really, really good job, and uh, he didn't have to take the time to fix uh, loads of the issues that uh, Crazy Cars Free had. Hey, 
Yay, we scored! <laughs> I think that's what he's uh, hinting at, Maud. But that's not how you're supposed to do Crazy Cars 3 or American Lamborghini Challenge. No other, no other version of the game makes you do that. <laughs> Anna. Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the memes, Anna. Oh, so this is now 180. No, this is not very... It's all right. It's just very... There's no presentation... Very little presentation on this game. No excitement uh, on this darts game. It's going on a bit, isn't it, guys? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, treble, t treble 20 there. I do like how you can aim the dart and, and how you control the hand and arm and all that kind of stuff. That works quite well. But it's uh, it's, it just, just feels lacking, this. Hey, no worries, Stefan. Sorry, you don't need to say sorry. I... I, I, I I don't know if you want to have a look at that and get that and see what the fix is for that. But it is the deal. Have all the blue race on each division. Right. Okay. I, I, I am 90% sure that the other versions of the game on the Commodore, Amiga, SNES, they don't force you to do that. And um, even in the manual... It says, I'm sure it says, when you've earned enough money you, and you think you're ready, go buy the pass and see if you can get to the next division. So, um, yeah. That, 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 yeah. But thank you, Stefan, thank you for the hard work you put into doing that. You didn't have to do that for that, for that game. And to be honest, Crazy Cars 3 probably doesn't really deserve it compared to other games that uh, probably are more deserving of Someone's attention and hard work. Like, uh, combat school. God, that needs bugs fixing. Oh, man, I'm screwing up here. To be honest, I'm a bit bored of bullies sporting darts. Or is it sporting darts? Yeah, sporting darts. 1.80 1. out of 10. Hey, Vision Thing, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. He has been fixing at uh, Retro Limmy has been fixing Airwolf as uh, Stefan has. Oh, the computer's doing as bad as me here. Well, nearly as bad. Oh. <gasps> no. I think you've got to always hit doubles and trebles if you want to get to the bullseye to score a goal. <sighs> Where are we at? 1.34 in the morning. I'm done with that. A uh, bit boring, wasn't it? Um, so, Bully Sporting Darts. Scores out of 10 for Bully Sporting Darts, guys. As I load up. We've seen this a few times recently, but it's on the list. It's part of the, the games from 1993. It's Nigel Mansell's World Championship. I don't know what I'd give. Uh, I'd give Bully Sporting Darts, uh, I don't know, 6 out of 10. Well, this might be a bar CPM jobby. If I was being generous. Oh, zzz, out of 10. 20 out of 10 because Bully looks like some sort of bovine character of Bullwinkle. Ah, oh, you've never seen Bullseye, have you, Man Shovel? It's a famous TV show. Like a game, it was a game show. And it was a mix of darts. Oh, music here. It was a mix of darts uh, and trivia questions. And Bully was like the cartoon character that would come on screen uh, at various points during the show. He can't beat a bit of bully. 
Uh, Matt minus four, Matt Clansman minus five. Yikes. Aaron gives it a 10 out of 10 because he's uh, pished. <laughs> Batman gives it a four. Robin gives it a two. You like the hand animation dots? Yeah, that actually worked quite well. It just it just needed some excitement with it. I don't know. I don't think it's as bad as the chat thinks it is. Maybe it's just, just the time of night and I'm fed up with crazy cars, Indiana Jones and the uh, fate of Atlantis, which is boring as hell. This is Pooh the Other Mansell game as well good. We shall see. We shall see. One second, guys. And uh, Stefan as well. If I'm if I'm if I'm wrong about Crazy Cars Three and about the other versions and and all that, uh, to get the like the proper ending, you have to do every race three times over. Then I I, I apologise in advance just in case because you know I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't mean to cause you any stress or anything. And uh, we are very very grateful in the Amsterdam community for anyone. That puts in their time and effort and hard work into, um, well, any Amstrad game, whether it's a new one, old one being fixed or whatever. So thank you, Stefan. Mercy. <laughs> yeah, 1993, Aaron. Uh, shall I use keys or joystick for this one? Uh, I'll use joystick. <laughs> Screw it. Right. Uh, we... Joystick 0, Joystick 1. Interesting. Uh... That will do. It doesn't matter. Choose preferences. Gears, auto, speed, level... Rostrum on. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Lots of good options here. Exit, they'll do that. No worries, Aaron, no worries. You've been down the pub. Let's race a single circuit. Get this over. We'll do one race and that will do tonight. For... Oh, what? Where should we race, guys? South Africa, Mexico. I like the rotating globe. That is cool. Brazil, Spain. San Marino, oh, Monaco, Canada, France, Britain. What circuit is that? Silverstone? I don't know. I don't know my circuits. We need an Andrea. Is she still here? Actually, let's do Monaco in honor, in honor of Super Monaco Grand Prix. And let's see if it's got the big tunnel. I like the Elia Mansell game. Later one was awful. The Elia Mansell game was from um, DJL that did 3D Stunt Rider, Monty on the Run, Road Blasters. Uh, there was another good driving game they did as well. You reckon that's Brands Hatch? Oh yeah, you can tune the car on this. I mean, the options are pretty nuts you get. Right, you can choose the tyres, aerofoils, gear ratios. Anyway, let's uh, let's race the circuit. Anyway, side two, press fire button. And two of two. Probably that's the right disc to put in. Oh, you missed it, Andrea. We were looking at all the uh, Formula One race tracks, but this would have been from 1992, 93. So um, we're trying to work out what track the British one was. I think it was Brands Hatch. Huh? What? 
Oh, it's space bar. Right, hang on then. I'm going to have to play this on keyboard. Oh, God. Hold on, hold on. We have, we have an AMS vehicle for this, don't we? To the AMS racer! Yes, we've got the AMS racer. I forgot about the AMS racer. Right, let's add some smoke. Why is that uh, thumbnail there? There we go. Right. Holy frame rate, Batman. I mean, I don't mind how blue it is. And I think the uh, the graphics on their own, like a, like a, taking a screenshot. Oh, it does have the Monaco tunnel. Nice. The screenshots on the, uh, the graphics on the road, if you just took a screenshot, you'd go, but blue graphics, they're actually quite nicely done. But oh my God, the frame rate. It's like, this is like someone getting postcards and just putting them in front of your eyes, one after another, like that, or something. I don't know. Should be Silverstone, they've been racing there since 97. Oh, this is 93 though, Andrea. What was 92, 93? I kind of like the blue as well, um, Anna. And I normally only want my games in mode naught with lots of colours and chunky pixels. Ow. Uh, I'm doing quite well here. I'm actually in third position. And I've crashed quite a bit. I think they just... I think Gremlin here just tried to do too much. Oh, I'm nearly in first. How am I in first position? You don't seem to get punished for like uh, hitting objects at the side of the road much. Uh, I don't see a damage meter. In fact, the original Nigel Mansell game had a lot more detail, actually. He had oil pressure and temperature and turbo pressure. This doesn't have anything like that. I like the minimap, though, at the top of the screen. That is actually a nice touch. down for the bend accelerate out and I think I just won and I, I like the flag waving thing there switch to green screen and it might look better do you know what I might actually I don't actually but clearly I don't mind the graphics at all um graphics are fine to me it's just um the frame rate Yay! I won! Ooh, I'm tired, good lord! Gremlin were usually okay. Yes, they were. They never really put out any... I don't think they ever put out a really, truly stinking bad game. There might be the odd one or two. <laughs> no worries, Andrea. So, silly me. Sorry, European Grand Prix gone into 93, but they also did Silverstone 93. Is Mansell's Tash Blue in this game? No, it's black. You can clearly see it there. Really needs a boosting frame rate, yeah. See, there's no point putting it at like at 200% speed. I think what they've done here is they've purposely skipped game. Uh, sorry, skipped frames to make the game go faster and give the illusion of speed. And I think I'd rather take a slower paced game with more frames per second on the go. 
do you know what? It's strange. I, I don't know if Johnny Boy is, a, is saying the same thing about me here. But it's actually kind of fun to play for a bit. I remember getting this when it came out. And um, Gremlin weren't convinced about making it and releasing it on the Amstrad. And I remember they had a thing in Amstrad Action where they asked, um, do you think we should bother releasing this or not? Is there enough people that want it? And enough people did write back to Gremlin from their, that thing in Amstrad Action. And they went, okay. And they actually released it on the Amstrad. I remember ordering it straight away. And I actually did play it for quite a bit. I think I did a whole season on this. <laughs> But yeah, it's not great. Um, it's not terrible either. So scores out of 10 in the chat for Nigel Mansell's World Championship, the second Nigel Mansell game. As I come, I, as I step out the AMS, uh, AMS racer. Right, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Right, also... I think I'd give that a seven and a half out of ten, maybe. It is quite fun to play, even though it might not look very good from uh, a viewer's perspective. It was kind of fun. Oh, excuse me. Right. Also, um, uh, guys and girls in the chat, our last game tonight. Is Prehistoric 2. Now, Prehistoric 2, we have featured on the Amstream a large number of times. That's why I've saved it for the end of the stream tonight. Uh, the one thing I haven't done is played Prehistoric 2 in its uh, standard CPC mode. With, like, less colours, less special effects and all that. So, I'd like you to vote in the chat in a second as I read out the scores here. So, 5 out of 10. 5 from Anna. Clanny does not like it. Minus 9.9. Uh, Maud gives it a 5. Robin a 6. Andy UK an 8 out of 10 for effort. Uh, Rick Mail's Mantle advert out of 10. <laughs> I think I've seen some of his adverts of games actually. They were quite good. I've seen the Game Boy ones. Bippy Stopper an 8. Hey Bippy Stopper. Um, Man Shovel 11 out of 10. Fantastic game was suggested again. Not sure of trolling or not. I'm, I'm actually not sure there. Um, 6 a.m. finish now, guys. No, I'm gonna have to call it round about two, so 10 15 minutes. It's definitely Silverstone on this game. All oh, right, okay, so it was Silverstone. They don't name the track, sadly. Matt gives it a seven and Retro Limb five. So, Prehistoric 2 has a normal mode, but if it detects you've got a plus machine, you can turn on the plus features for extra colors, extra special effects, and some wizard, wizards and bangs, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I've always done the uh, plus version on the streams, so let me know in the chat if you'd like me to play the normal CPC version for the end of the stream or the plus version. So to do that, type uh, CPC for the normal CPC or plus for the plus version. Oh, and I didn't capitalise the S there, never mind in the chat there. I'll let you guys vote. Uh, bear with me two secs, and I will see what you guys have put. Bear with. Just need to stretch my legs. I'm getting a numb bum. Oh. Right, let's see what the votes are coming in as. CPC, plus, plus, plus. Oh, uh, four pluses, two CPCs, three CPCs, five pluses. It's five to three. Ivor says, Clanny, my eyes are so bad at this time of day, it won't make any bleeding difference. <laughs> That's the thing, Retro Name. We've seen the Plus version millions of times. Maybe some people haven't, though. Super Gintendo might not have. I don't know. Um... <laughs> Andrea. Is that is that what uh, GP saying in chat? 
uh, in Discord or something like that. Uh, Andrea, a message from GP. I loved you. I adore you. I will be all, all, yours forever. All my love, GP. <laughs> GP, I love you too, man. <laughs> Thanks for watching, GP. It also says... Uh, it also says in Discord... Gotta say, watching the stream, not much sci-fi love going on. Very disappointed, angry face. I'm moving to the Commodore 64 community where it's brown trousers every day. <laughs> God bless GP. He does make me laugh and smile. Anna, you've posted a really disturbing gif in my chat. Oh my god, that's from um, uh, Doom Patrol. I remember that scene. <laughs> Come back soon, GP. Indeed. Free GP! <laughs> Hashtag free GP. Looks like the pluses have won. You're not getting enough love, apparently. I've seen. Um, don't forget to give us a like and a thumbs up on the stream and if you're enjoying what you've been watching and stuff and enjoying the uh, community here. Hey, Demanta Dams! Hey! <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm always too late. What time does your stream normally start? About uh, just under five hours ago. <laughs> so that's 9pm UK time. Demanta, where are you again? What country are you in? Uh, and oh my chicken, not raw. How are you doing, mate? Dirty stop ups, he says. Oh, speak for yourself, my chicken, not raw. Uh, what have you been up to? Have you been uh, have you been down the pub tonight? We're actually coming on to the last game of the night anyway, so um, prehistoric two. All right then. So, oh, hang on, we need to go into plus mode, don't we? Automatic run. There we go. Good to see you again, my chicken, as well. There, yeah. Uh, that'll do. Uh, this might go a bit wonky in this emulator at times, but it should be alright. Do you know what we'll do? I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to close that off. I'm going to run this in CPC EC emulator and see what it looks like and how it runs. Oh, yes. Uh, hang on, what do we press here? File F3 Prehistoric 2. Uh, oh, we need to go into plus mode on this. Hang on. Select firmware. That's better. Right, okay. F3 file and open that. Right. So I'm running this in a different emulator. We might have a might have tweaked the graphics a little bit on this one. And we might hear the, the music might sound a little bit better as well. Oh yeah, actually exclamation my chicken. I think it's exclamation my chicken, not raw. I think we have a specific command for him. Uh Damn, I'm a night owl. So Demanta, are you from the UK as well? Or around here. Right, let's pause mine. Uh, Amsa Plus version. There you go. You can select that from the menu. Oh. My capture's not lined up properly. Let me just fix that. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not. That'll do. Pardon me. Nice digitized music here, sent via the DMA chip found in the Amstrad Plus machines. Now, if you don't know what the Plus machines are, the Plus machines was like an upgraded version of the original CPC, as you see here. It looked more like an ST and Amiga. And it had um, 
extra hardware capabilities for sprite scaling, uh, not scaling, well actually yes technically it does do a little bit of that, uh, but um, uh, for, it had hardware sprites, hardware scrolling, a DMA chip to take things away from the uh, main processor, you could do stuff like digitise sound and music and stuff. 4096 colours, used to quite a nice effect here on the title screen. Good music, bad titus. Oh, they did do good games, they did do. <laughs> there we go. Oh, good time Alex, as I just moved on there from the music. Alex Ogle! <laughs> Let's give you some dancing Lord Shuggers. For a magic, oh, he's done the 664. It says, holy crap, I've seen sights, drunk drinks, and listened to live music, and you're still going. Forget the Amstream. This is the this is the dream, dream stream. Oh, bless you, Alex. Oh, yes, of course, you're having lovely, delicious cocktails by the pool. Some nice ladies walking around as well, weren't you, lucky boy? <laughs> Bananas in the chat for Alex. Thank you, Alex. That's very, very kind of you, man. To be honest, I, I should be finishing in like three minutes, but we're going to do a little bit of prehistoric too. Um, it's a bloody good game. Right, get my joystick for this one. Right, here we go. <laughs> Let's get my mouse cursor off the screen there. There we go. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh! Trying to bounce off the head of. There you go. Let's pick up that. There's a little shortcut here. That takes you through there. Thank you for all the bananas there. Do we have enough bananas for you out there, Alex? Thank you, my friend. Sonic the Hedgehog trees. Yes, you're right, Clanny. Parallax scrolling. So if you get hurt by one of the animals, if you, if you destroy it and collect the bones, all the bones, you get your heart uh, energy restored that, that you lost. And loads of fruit here for points. You have to collect every piece of fruit on a level, it's just there for points. off them there. Really high in the sky there. Ah! I don't think I'm going to be able to collect all the bones. No, they've disappeared off the screen now. Never mind. Oh, look at the clouds moving there. Simi loves this game. I do too. I'm so glad I... I, I not showing off, but... Oh, here it is. I'm one lucky, lucky boy to have this in my collection. Get the green's gone to the green screen chroma key here. But yeah, I've got a copy of Prehistoric 2 on disc. I bought this as soon as it came out. And I had it uh, a mail order from Am in the Amsterdam Action magazine. I think it was like 16 quid, 15, 16 quid, which is a lot for me back then. A lot of money, but I'm glad I've got it. Worth a lot more now. God, my bum hurts now, guys. Oh. So he was being a meanie doodle head, was he? What is he saying, Anna? All oh, right, yeah, you've just got to be careful of the swears, that's all. Never mind. Um, even one banana is more than I can cram in my mouth. Oh, I'm sure you can shove a few in there, mate. <laughs> I've heard stories. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Enjoy your nanas. And thank you again, Alex. Get a hidden cave there. 
Not so hidden area up here, because you actually have to get something from here. I uh, wish I had. I had this game, I would have loved this. Bit better than uh, Turbo, uh, Turbo the Tortoise, yeah. I still love Turbo the Tortoise, that is a great game. Almost one of the last ever Amstrad games, but it was 1992 Turbo. Avoid the skull here. And we just picked up a giant green lighter. That is one of the objects we have to collect to, to beat the game. And there are secrets in this game. I think this is another warp point. Oh no. Just got some giant fruit and giant bananas there. I have a copy of this, but the disc is wrecked. So do you, have you got the box of the original disc? Because you could probably do some clever, uh, clever stuff to um, replace the actual disc inside the disc with a working one, and you've got a working copy then. Uh, Alice says, I miss how recent the CPC Specky felt. They, uh, they felt very UK, and you got UK feeling games that was lost when the UK, era, the UK gaming era ended. Yeah, there is certainly a lot of personality to a lot of European games. You, know, you can tell French games quite often. You can tell Spanish games quite often. You can tell the British games because they often have a very quirky, irre irrelevant, 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 sorry, uh, sense of humour. And often self-deprecating and mocking of themselves and their company. It is the British way. There we go. If you click this icon, the sun goes down! Woo! Frankly, there's a sun up icon here. Oh, I can feel my eyes going, guys. I'm getting tired. I can feel it. I can feel it coming. Ow! I just got spiked. That the gorgeous prehistoric to you there. The parallax gets in the way, in my opinion. I think you could turn it off with the F keys. Hang on. Oh, hang on. I'm pressing the wrong thing. Uh... There you go. You can actually turn them off with F1. What does F2 do? I can't remember. Let's just, let's just show you them with uh, show you the game without them on. It's a lot easier to play, but it doesn't look as good. Pass. No. At least I got one of my hearts back. Collected the bones there. Oh. Oh yeah, I don't think you can get over this. <laughs> Excuse me. Right, this is what happens when when a programmer is bug testing his game and realizes oh hang on. People can uh, jump that way. <laughs> and they just put a giant block in there when they run out of time. Demanta! Oh my gosh, Demanta! You really didn't have to again. The 10 euros through the super chat. Holy poop. Thank you. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, it says, long stream. This is for your sore bum. Go to bed, lol. <laughs> I, I think I will be actually, guys. I might be calling it there actually. Bananas in the chat there for Demanta for the very, very generous 10 there. Thank you very, very much, Demanta. I feel a bit bad because um, uh, you always come in sort of late on the stream and miss most of it. So don't get your money's worth. But uh, um, 
Oh, Stefan. Uh, it says Crazy Cars Free Ending Link. Um, oh, have you got something for me? I'll happily take a look at it. Yeah, definitely. You might get... The link might get blocked in the chat, though. Um, try posting it. Uh, Retro Nim would like me to show the normal version. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Um, we'll open it up again. They do appear. I guess blocked. Um, Stefan, are you on Discord? If so, you can send me the link. Post the link in Discord. How else could you post the link? Um, you can post it in my Discord. Um, if you if you've got a Discord account. Otherwise, um, try post the link as like HD, you know, dub 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 dot google dot com, you know, maybe like that. Email could do, but uh, I don't want to give out my personal email address on the stream. Right, well, while well, uh, I sorted that out, we'll get the. Uh, Normal version. Here's the music uh, as it sounds on the AY chip as normal. And a different loading title screen. Uh, Demand says I'll be huge back catalogue your, uh, of your content on YouTube. No help worries at all. Oh, thank you, Demanta. Thank you. Thank you. That's really kind. Oh, I've got a YouTube link. All right. After we show this, um, uh, Stefan, I will uh, bring it up on YouTube, okay? On, 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 on stream for you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, again, sorry if I studied a bit stressy at you because it's only because we've been playing it for so long. And we were expecting the ending. I says, uh, let's wait to the ending, guys. And I just felt really bad then. So don't feel, uh, don't feel I apologise, you know, if I sounded a bit stressy. But no worries. So this is it on a normal CPC. It's what I had to play it like because I didn't have a plus machine. As you can see, it plays absolutely identically. Just with CPC style graphics, which are absolutely gorgeous in their own right. You've got, still got the warps there. It's exactly the same game. It's just had its graphics rather expertly reskinned. And there you go. And the spiders in here. Everything plays identically. There you go. There you go. That there you go. Prehistoric two. Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna have to call it there, guys. But I will show you the ending to um uh, uh Crazy Cars three, courtesy of Stefan or Stephanie. Got a watch ID. Awesome. I'm gonna bring this up. Uh, bear with me a second. I just find a normal video and I'll put that at the end. Oh my god, you've uploaded it to YouTube yourself. That's amazing. Right, hang on, guys. Here we go. Um, let's put you. Oh, hang on. Right, there we go. So, are we ready for this, guys? I don't know if there's any music or not, so I'm going to pause. Oh, what? Hang on. Hey, uh, Jim Tendo says, uh, of, uh, on my folks, that's a fun. Mate, uh, we'll make a return for sure. Awesome. Uh, have a great weekend all. Uh, Super Jim Tendo, thank you for tuning in tonight. And uh, glad you had a good time. Um, next time you see me, I will be such so less tired. 
and worn down by games like Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. <laughs> I've had literally no sleep. Right, let's roll the clip. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I was having some problems there with the music player. Right, here we go. Working. This is what you should have seen earlier. Uh, this is the new um, ending that, Dema uh, sorry, that um, Stefan added. There you go. Oh, right, so you don't get a final race battle. Yeah, congratulations. No other driver has shown more courage and skill. The grand prize. Completing the races was like $10 million or something. After the excitement and thrills of the Saturday night races, take a moment to bask in your glory. And then buy a few little luxuries. There you go. So that was the Amiga ending. It's three very, very nice and uh, very nice looking screens, which is way more than we got in the original Crazy Cars 3. It just it never ended. We can, it, it just uh, got stuck. Hey, good night, Clanny. Take care, Clanny. Thanks for tuning in, mate. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Have a great weekend as well. So there you go. That was the ending for Crazy Cars 3. <laughs> thank you everyone for tuning in tonight let me just give you some thank yous um i'll go in reverse order tonight demand to damned thank you for the 10 euros for the super chat thank you so much alex ogle legend as well for 664 canadian dollars <clears throat> mr matt corbin thank you for the five for the super chat as well as well as man shovel for the five as well for the super chat Lewis Waddo for the 499 for the super chat. Manuel for the 19 uh, fr uh, Swiss francs as well. <laughs> Excuse me. Nivrig with the £1.93 as well. Thank you. Mike ZT, thank you as well for the £2. Henry Pallet for the £1 earlier. Gunblade Lad for the 464. Manuel with another uh, 664 Swiss francs. And Henry earlier as well with another €5. Euros. Arnold A. Lamp over two euros and Johnny's Tips, which is a GP. Um, hashtag free GP in the chat. Thank you, everyone, uh, for the very, very kind uh, uh, things tonight. Thank you, especially Demanta there. That's a lot of money. Thank you, Demanta. I really, really appreciate that. So this was 1993 games in a week or two, or maybe longer. Kind of like the follow on to the stream will be like 1994 to 1995-ish games. I think it covers those two years. Maybe a game might, not might have a game creeping into 1996. But it'd be from two companies basically, Radical Software uh, and Frez. Radical Software did Fluff, Mega Blasters, Masters of Space, quite a few of the games as well. And um, Frez of course did the awesome Frez Fighter 2 Turbo. Probably the best 1v1 fighting game on the Amstrad. It's a stunning presentation. And I can't wait to have a look at that with you guys and girls. Um, and then after that, we're going to fast forward a few years to 1999-2000 when the first, first wave of the return of Amstrad games started trickling out. I would do a whole stream game from a chrono chronological order through all the new homebrew Amstrad games starting in 1999 onwards. It's weird that it's like 1999 is like, God, a really long time ago now. Like, that's like 20, that, yeah, like 22 years ago. That's freaking scary. 22 years ago is 1999. Oh, oh. Uh, but there we go. Uh, Stefan, thank you again. Well done on the work of Crater Cars 3. Um, excellent stuff there. We finally got um, a deep, uh, well, a version that should have been shipped to the shops anyway, in the state it is. Uh, so thank you. Um, start from the top here in the chat. Uh, thank you, Retro on Liam. Thank you, Fifty Stopper. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Robin. 
<laughs> Thank you, Vision Thing, as well. Maud, Andrea, Demanta, Johnny Voice has topped it up. It's a great weekend, Bill. Take care and stay safe. Cheers, my great stream, as always, dude. No, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, Retro and Lim. Anna, Matt, Park Productions, Man Shovel, uh, Stefan there, and uh, Chris as well. You're still here. Oh, fantastic. Hopefully see you next week. We'll have a bit more of a fun stream. I think with a bit more variety. And a lot more games, actually. And I'll try and get some sleep in before it as well. Anyway, guys, take care. Have a great weekend. See ya. Bye.